game looks so strange. <laughs> oh god. What am I getting myself into? Something delightful. Absolutely delightful. Uh, one sec. Gotta make sure it's all... It's all working. Everything working? You seem to be working. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Yes. Okay. Cool! Hi. This game. I don't really know anything about it other than... I was looking for a game to do for... What is that on me? Oh, it's just my necklace. It went weird. Okay, cool. Uh, I was worried it was food, because knowing me, it would be food. Uh, I was looking for, like, a fun game to play for Valentine's Day that wasn't really about Valentine's Day. And so I was, like, trying to search for dating sims or just, like, something really cute um, and then I saw this, <laughs> and I needed, I needed to, I needed to play it. I needed to see what the heck this is. Um, so, gonna find out. Let's see how this goes. I never dreamed I would get involved in politics. I mean, I'm just a plain Jane, a nobody. I've never even voted before. But somehow, I found myself swarmed by presidential candidates, and they all want me to be their campaign manager. Which one should I choose? They're all such good options. I can't pick which one. Oh, but I should back up first and explain how I got into this situation. It all started last week, when I heard someone calling my name at the park. Um, what's my name again? Please input the perfect name for our human heroine. Um, I'll do my own. Gray. I like it. <laughs> Gray. Gray. <laughs> That's my best friend, Lizzie. Oh, I have a friend named Lizzie. Oh, I should message her. It's been forever. What is it, Lizzie? Did you hear? They're having a big debate tonight. I got us tickets. A debate? What about? Gosh, you don't know? The presidential debate. Oh, is President Daisy Doodle coming to town? That's so cool. I like her. What's she gonna debate? No, actually the debate is for the presidential candidates who are running to replace Daisy Doodle when she leaves office next year. All six of them are in town, and they're going to debate important issues, like foreign policy and catnip. I love this game already. Plus, they're all adorable. I want to hug and pet each one of them. God, I wish I had a cat. Oh, right. I should probably have said something about this earlier. Twenty years ago, the government got so corrupt that the Supreme Court decided to ban all humans from politics. Now, the only politicians we have are cats. I know it sounds crazy, but the government is a lot more effective this way. I'm into it. I don't know. I think I'll stay home. No way! You have to come. If you don't, I'll never forgive you. Tutorial. Okay, in this game, you will occasionally be asked to choose Gray's responses. Choose carefully. The options you picked affect which ending you get. The better the options you choose, the better the ending. Okay. Are you coming to the debate or what? Fine, I'll go, but I won't like it. Or, I love cats. I can't wait to see them. Um, I love cats. I love cats. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> Me neither. This will be so much fun. We got there about an hour early. Since nothing was going to happen for a while, I decided to explore a bit. Maybe see if I could find a bathroom. It wasn't long before I got lost. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me. 
Ugh, this place is like a maze. How are you supposed to figure out where to go? They need signs or something. After wandering around for a few minutes, I found a fancy looking door. I stepped inside, but no one was there. Empty. I guess I'll try another room. I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, I am obsessed with this game! Ah, it's a cat! Did you lose your owner, little guy? I've never been so insulted in my life. You know, you think I'm a common street cat? How dare you talk to me like that? I don't know why I went that route with that voice, but uh, that's where I'm going. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were a talking cat. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. I should have security throw you out immediately. Apologies if you're expecting good accents. You will not find those here. <laughs> oh god, what voice? Uh... Uh, what kind of voice do I do for this cat? If that's British... Uh, ish. Brit- British-ish. Uh, 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 don't be so mean. A cute girl comes wandering in and you try to have her kicked out? That's not what I would do. Yeah, I like her style. My style? Well, yeah, you stuck all the way backstage to meet us? That's pretty brave of you. You have guts. I like you. Wait, if I'm backstage, that means... Oh my gosh, you three are presidential candidates. Bingo. I'm Frisky, and may I say, it's a pleasure to meet a beautiful woman like yourself. The cat on the left gave a saucy wink as he said this. I didn't know what to make of it. I'm DJ Nibbles. I'm the young, cute candidate. More like the empty-headed kitten who keeps rushing into danger. I can't help it if I sometimes get into trouble. I'm naturally curious. Naturally stupid, you mean. And that grumpy orange puss between us is Thunderpaw. He always seems to be upset over something. Not true. I'll be happy when you losers drop out of the race. I'm not gonna drop out of it. I'm in it to win it. So, darling, you didn't tell us your name. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. My name is Gray. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to keep this voice. <laughs> it's too silly. <laughs> I love a winking cat. <laughs> well, Gray, why don't you come with me for a little while? I guarantee you'll enjoy it. You're a cat. You want to be alone with me? So I can lead you back to the audience area, of course. Hey, Frisky. Don't keep our guests all to yourself. Let me help guide her back to her seat. Have the two of you forgotten that the debate starts in 45 minutes? We don't have time to be escorting random humans all over the place. I'll call security, and they'll have you removed from the premises. Um, no, that's, that's okay. I think I can find the way by myself. Are you sure? I wouldn't mind helping you. I'm sure! You all focus on... debate stuff. Bye! Goodbye, Gray! Nice meeting you. <laughs> what is this game? I got out of the room as quickly as I could. I couldn't believe it. I accidentally interrupted three of the presidential candidates. What kind of goofball does a thing like that? I do. I decided to get back to my seat as quickly as possible, but I ended up running into more cats. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm out of voices. Um, um, oh god, terrible Russian? Hey, humans aren't allowed back here. I'm so sorry, I got lost and I don't know how to get back to my seat. I understand, these always can be pretty confusing at sometimes. Uh, oh god, I have no more accents. <laughs> I don't, yeah, 
first time I was here, I was chasing my tail for hours. So you're not mad at me for being in the off-limits area? No, we're not mad. These sort of things happen. The door you're looking for is the third one on the right. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Gray, by the way. Who are you? The cat on the left nodded his head as he answered. I'm Elvis, Ti Elvis Tiberius Kale the Third, but you can call me Kale. Nice to meet you, Kale. Are you also running for president? I certainly am. Although most people say I should drop out because I'm last in the polls. Sigh. Cheer up, Kale. At least you made it all the way to the debates. This time it was the cat on the right who spoke up. Both good cats. Dr. Nom Noms! <laughs> I'm Dr. Nom Noms. I'm also not bowling very well at the moment. If it wasn't for the calicos, I'd probably be out of the running. Well, you both seem like very nice cats. Maybe the debate will boost your popularity. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm lucky to be here tonight. I'm just doing the debate uh, to debate the issues. I do my best for all the elegants out there. Thank you both very much for helping me. If I could vote for both of you, I would. That's very kind of you to say. Please enjoy the debate tonight. What is this game? I followed their directions and made it back to my seat all right. Phew, finally made it. Gray, where were you? You'd never believe me even if I told you. You'll have to tell me later. The show's about to start. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> After that, the moderator came on stage and explained the debate rules to the audience. The rules were pretty simple. Clap whenever there's a response you like, but no interrupting the debaters and no cat calls. <laughs> the debate itself was pretty interesting. Thunderpaw was an intense debater. He yelled at all the other candidates and constantly insulted him. If his goal was to look stronger than his opponents, then he succeeded. Frisky didn't try to appeal to all voters. Instead, he focused his attention on just one group, women. He wouldn't stop talking about how much he loved women. I didn't think it was very professional, but my friend Lizzie liked it. DJ Nibbles was as energetic as ever. <laughs> it's like cat's eyes, which ended up hurting his debate style. He rushed into his answers with such enthusiasm that he tripped over his words, and twice he lost his place during speeches. Still, it's nice to see such refreshing honesty in a political debate. Dr. Nom Noms did not do very well. He flubbed most of his answers, and he went on a long tangent about a bird bath he visited last year. It's almost like he was trying to fail. Kale did okay, I guess. He was a solid speaker, but he was definitely overshadowed by all the other personalities in the room. I can see why he's last in the polls. As for the de final debater, Rover, there was something different about him. I don't know what it was. He just seemed, I don't know, really different from other cats. I wonder why. <laughs> At the end of the debate, the moderator called for silence. We've heard all of the candidates' responses, but now we want to hear a question from a real person, an average citizen, not a politician. That's why we've picked a randomly selected audience member to give the final question of the debate, and that person is... Gray. What? Me? Come on up, Gray. Tell everyone your question. Uh... -uh. Okay, I don't know a lot about politics, but I do know that politicians are supposed to help people. So I guess what I want to know, uh, how all of you will help me. I mean, I lost my job at the grocery store last week and I'm still having trouble finding a new one. If I don't get a job soon, I might lose my apartment. <sighs> it's too on the nose right now, man. <laughs> I know my personal problems don't matter much in the political world, but what will you do as a president to help people like me? Oh, what was your voice? Oh, that was a very good question. All questions that were asked here tonight have been good, especially the question of societal inequity. 
<laughs> Societal inequality between cats and humans. I know words. <laughs> Kale, you're a salad-headed moron. That is... <laughs> this isn't a question of social inequality. Yeah, besides, the real social inequality is between cats and dogs. I have a suggestion. You can work for me, Gray. What? You need a job, and I need a new campaign manager. I'll hire you. That will help your problem, right? Oh, yeah. I want to hire you, too. No way! You want to work on the DJ Nibbles campaign with me? I'm sure there's room for you on the Kale campaign. You don't want to work for these losers. Work for Thunderpaw. I only hire the best and brightest. I have one question to ask. Do you have a dog? No. Then I offer my services as well. Come work for me. No, me. Me. Oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. You all want me to work for you? I hate to interrupt here, but we're running out of time for the debate. If you could please choose a candidate now. Uh, um... That's the dilemma I found myself in. Six great cats, all running for president. And they all want me to work for them. How could I pick just one? I like all of them. I would give them all ear rubbies and little, and little scratchies. In the end, I decided to go with... Ooh. I mean, Dr. Nom Noms offered me the job first. I don't know if chat feels differently, but I feel like, yo, first offer. God, I want to pet all of these cats. <laughs> I, th I think I'm gonna go with Dr. Nom Noms. Yeah. Dr. Nom Noms chapter one, in which we learn the curious truths behind Dr. Nom Noms' campaign. All the cats were so amazing and wonderful, but forcing me to pick which one was best? No way! I can't do something that difficult. In the end, I decided to go with the first cat to offer the job to me. Yes! That's the fairest way to go about it, right? I think so. I want to work for Dr. Nom Noms. Great! Thank you so much. Oh, I needed a new campaign manager. I've... Plenty of campaign managers. I didn't need you anyway. Rude. Meow. That was a voice. Dr. Nom Noms is still a dog-loving maniac, no matter who's working for him. Do you have an attractive sister or cousin who's willing to work for me? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, I was not going to work for you, bud. That concludes tonight's Sharp Claw Debate. Thank you for watching, everyone. Seriously, what is this game? <laughs> oh my gosh, Gray. I can't believe it. You got a new job. I can't believe it myself. Getting a job is almost never that easy. What? Do you think there's a catch or something? No way! Dr. Nom Noms is such a nice, honest cat. He would never try to trick someone. Okay, now I'm nervous. Hey, I've had people offer me jobs before, only to tell me later that they're unpaid internships. Oof. Wait. Are you saying they're paid internships? My dad said he had one when he was a teenager, but that was a long time ago. Right. Who wants to focus on the past? We need to focus on the future. The future where you work for Dr. Nom Noms, the next president of the United States. I can't believe it! I have a job! I should... Check in with my boss or go out partying with Lizzie? I, I mean, check in with my boss. Okay, I'm gonna go check in with Dr. Nom Noms. Hopefully it won't take too long. Then you, uh, you and I are going to celebrate the new job. Great! And if you get the chance, maybe you could ask if he's willing to hire me too? Every great campaign manager needs an assistant. I'll ask! I went to the backstage area where security ushered me into a room with Dr. Nom Noms. Such a good name. Ah, Gray! Good to see you again. Let me get you a chair. 
Of course I chose the cat with an accent that I cannot do. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> with considerable effort, Dr. Nom Noms pushed a human-sized chair into the room. I was flattered that he went through all that trouble just for me. What a nice cat. There! Now, before we begin, I have a confession to make. You do? Yes, I do. Can I trust you to keep this a secret? I uh, sure. I was as curious as a cat. What could Dr. Nom Noms possibly have to confess to me? I only just met him. Oh, I wish I had those, like, cat... cat headphones. This would be really appropriate right now. The truth is, I don't want to become the President of the United States. Gasp! That wasn't already previously hinted at. Y you don't? No. The whole thing started out as a joke. My buddies told me I should run for president as a way to increase book sales. But everyone took my campaign seriously, and now I'm one of the top five candidates. You became a politician by accident? I know. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. I have no idea how I got here. I was just trying to get free publicity for my book. Now I'm in way over my head. So, why don't you just quit the race? I can't. Could you imagine how my supporters would react if they knew this campaign started as a joke? They'd be hurt, betrayed. I couldn't do that to them. My only choice is to lose the race, but to make it look like an accident. That's why I flubbed all the answers at the debate tonight. I'm trying to lose. I need to switch this accent. <laughs> I do not want to do this accent so much. I feel like it's insulting to anyone with a Russian accent. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll switch it and have you be a mediocre British cat. I don't know. Chat. Chat if you have thoughts. <laughs> so, now you know the truth about my campaign. Do you still want the campaign manager job? Uh, I'll still work for you. I mean... If you pay. Yes, I will work for you. This campaign might be a little unusual, but a job is a job. Yeah. Excellent. And don't worry. It will be a lot more fun than it sounds. I certainly hope so. Oh, but I have one request. Could you also hire my best friend Lizzie? After all, a great campaign, a campaign manager needs an assistant. Of course. I'll pay her and you the same salary. 25000 I'll be your campaign manager. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> $25,000 a month? <laughs> We're trying to bankrupt the campaign, remember? We overspend on everything. Especially chew toys. Those things are expensive. That's amazing. I know people sometimes talk about getting big business out of politics, but it sounds like politics is big business. It certainly is. Okay, so let's make an action plan. Let's get down to business to defeat Nom Noms. <laughs> to defeat <laughs> Nom Noms. Oh God. Actually, I am a little tired after that big debate. I was hoping to get some sleep. Could you give me your contact information? I'll get in touch with you in the morning. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much for giving me a job. It was my pleasure. I think you will make a fine addition to my team. I promise to try my hardest. I'll come up with a winning, uh, losing strategy for the campaign. That's more like it. Happy good night, Gray. See you soon, Dr. Nom Noms. Are you gonna wake me up at like 4 a.m. like a cat? Be like, meh. I went back into the hallway where Lizzie was waiting for me. So, did you ask him? I did, and Dr. Nom Noms says you can be my assistant. Yes! More than that, he'll pay us $25,000 a month. <laughs> Lucy fainted when she, when she heard how much we would be paid. I don't blame her. I could hardly believe it myself. Personally, the thing I can't believe is that Dr. Nom Noms wants to lose the election. Who could have guessed? 
I mean, he's practically the definition of nice and friendly. Why shouldn't he be the president? I know a lot of people would love the opportunity to destroy their boss's career, but Dr. Nom Noms is such a good cat. Can I really ruin his life like that? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think it'd be too hard to just run a bad campaign and I don't know. Uh, in which we go to Meow... Meowa? Dr. Nom Noms inspires... <laughs> okay. You know, if you told me last week that I'd be on a flight to Meowa... Oh, it is Meowa. Oh, is it like Iowa? Uh, okay, Meowa. To help with a presidential campaign, I'd say you were crazy. This is... <laughs> I know! Isn't this so unexpected? I've never even been to another state before, and now I'm flying all over the country. So, why are we going to Miawa? That's where the first primary is. Right! I think I remember that from the last election. The major political parties hold like a mini-election in every state. It helps them figure out who the best candidate is. Do I have a... oh. There are three major primaries that Dr. Nom Noms is going to complete, uh, compete in. Our job is to make sure he loses. It's just so weird. If we do our job well, we won't have jobs anymore. Don't worry. Dr. Nom Noms said that we have some very generous severance packages. After all, the more money that goes into employee salaries and severance packages, the sooner the campaign will go bankrupt. Well, that makes sense. Maybe we should waste more money by getting fancy hotel rooms and going to ritzy restaurants. I've always wanted to go to a restaurant with cloth napkins. <laughs> Maybe we can schedule something for Tuesday night. Dr. Nom Noms! I didn't see you there. You're on the same flight as us? <laughs> sort of. They make me ride in a pet carrier. That's no way to treat a presidential candidate. I'm not fond of it myself. So, Gray, I wanted to go over the plan for Miawa before we arrive. The primary is next week, so we're going to be very busy. A new item in my inventory. Is it a better accent? <laughs> right! I researched what the other candidates are doing in Miawa this week to get an idea of what the typical campaign trail looks like. Good thinking, but we want to lose. Maybe we should go off the beaten path. That's just what I was thinking. I think we'll fail if we... Focus all our attention on voters, focus it on non-voters. I mean, I guess... If we focus our attention on non-voters, it might make them voters. Which... Could have us win. Unless it's talking about people who aren't eligible. Maybe that? Focus all your attention on non voters That way, it looks like you're still campaigning with people, but there's no chance of them affecting your poll numbers. For starters, I signed you up to visit pretty much every school in the area. Children can't vote, so meeting with them is essentially a waste of time for the campaign. Also, Miao is a closed primary. I should sign up for bipartisan events. Bipartisan? Closed primary? What? A closed primary is one where you have to be a registered member of a specific political party in order to vote. For example, I am a sharp claw. That means in the Miawa primary, I can only vote for a sharp claw candidate. So if he reaches out to members of the other political party, the fancy furballs, it's meaningless. None of them can vote for him in this state. I'm glad you're staying on top of things, Gray. And Lizzie? Yes. Please read up on political elections. It looks bad if my campaign manager's assistant doesn't know what a closed primary is. <laughs> Will do. I meant to research elections last night, but I got distracted by a cool TV show. As for you, Gray, I want you to write a big speech for me. What for? I'm going to be addressing the Miawa Sharpclaw Society on the eve of the primary. It's a big event, and all of the major candidates have been invited. 
It's mostly ceremonial though. At this point, I'm pretty sure most of the big sponsors have already decided who they will vote for. How long should the speech be? We are all given 10 minutes to speak. But remember, I want to do badly. So, I'll write a two minute speech. Or would you rather have one that's long and rambling? Two minutes is fine. Thank you very much, Gray. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get into a cat carrier. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Wow, that Dr. Nom Noms is something else, isn't he? I almost wish he was a serious candidate. He'd get my vote. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally get this cat elected. I secretly agreed with Lizzie. I mean, I joined the campaign because I thought Dr. Nom Noms was a good cat. All cats are good cats. I mean, they're naughty, but like, they're all good. <laughs> but all this talk about failure and losing, it kind of made me sad. I almost started to think that Dr. Nom Noms was a bad cat. <gasps> How dare you? I mean, running a fake campaign? Sure, maybe good politicians lie to people, but good cats don't lie. All that said, my objections toward Dr. Nom Noms dropped in an instant later that week, when he was ta uh, talking at a school for disadvantaged kittens. <laughs> I want to tell you, all of the kittens, to stay in school. <laughs> There's no point. School is boring and stupid. I don't know how to do a kid's voice. <laughs> you little squeak. That's easy for you to say. You're rich and famous. <laughs> Some of us have real problems. Real problems? Look, kids, I didn't come here today to lecture you. I came here to help inspire you, because I've been where you are. I spent the first four years of my life living in alleyways. Mom tried her hardest to get us upgraded from street cats to house cats. She even took a second job and went on welfare. But it didn't work. Nothing did. Why not? I have nine brothers and sisters. It was a huge litter, and it was too much for one cat to carry. And my dad? He wasn't around. I've never even met him. I was the oldest, so I kind of felt like it was my responsibility to take care of the others. So I and my two brothers, uh, and two of my brothers, left when we were young to make things easier for them. Occasionally, I'd try to write them a check, help them out, you know? It didn't happen very often. My brothers and I soon got separated. One of them lost a tail in a fight, one of them ran off to Las Vegas with a woman who was all kinds of wrong. You shouldn't say that to kids. I started experimenting with drugs, you shouldn't say... That. How, how young are these kids? How did I get my life out of the gutter? Simple, I lucked out. I got an offer to attend a school just like this one. I figured I'd give it a shot. Cheap cafeteria food and a roof over your head, seven hours a day. It was better than what I had going on for me. <laughs> I know school can be boring and the teachers can be jerks and they make you do a bunch of stuff you don't like, but that's life. You're going to meet a lot of boring people. You're gonna meet a lot of jerks and you'll do a ton of stuff you don't like. The first job I got out of school? School? <laughs> a bunch of us applied at con as construction workers. I was the only one with a high school diploma, so they put me in charge. I had no idea how to be a boss, no idea what I was doing, but I learned quickly. That job led me to my next job, and the next one, and the next. It all started because I went to school instead of being crushed by life. So that's why I'm telling you to stay in school. It helped turn my life around, and I hope it does the same for you. Wise words, cat with bad accent. <laughs> wow, that's so inspiring. I had no idea Dr. Nom Nom's had such a challenging life. And the way he's dealing with those kids. He's so great. He's a true leader. 
Uh, I mean, I want to... I want to compliment him. Wow, Dr. Nom Noms. The way you handled those kids was incredible. Oh, it was nothing. All I did was talk to them honestly. Just because they're not adults yet, uh, adults yet, that doesn't mean that they should be looked down on or treated badly. You really mean that, don't you? Yes. I don't think anyone should be treated badly. Wow, your honesty and openness is really inspiring. I think I understand why you're such a popular candidate now. Yes, I know that I could probably tank the campaign if I was mean and hateful, like Rover or Thunderball. But I just can't act that way. Even if it's just pretend. It's just not in my personality to be rude. I wish more people were like you, Dr. Nom Noms. Thank you, but don't sell yourself short. You're a pretty good person yourself. At the end of the day, I was conflicted. Dr. Nom Noms hired me to sink his campaign, but I don't want to anymore. He's a good cat. He should be president. If he can fix the country the way he fixed those kittens' lives... What should I do? Should I keep going along with this charade? Or should I stop? These questions swirled around in my mind as I began to write Dr. Nom Nom's speech for the Meow Sharp Claw Society. Ha, ah, chapter 3, in which Dr. Nom Noms gives a speech and we see the results of the Meow primary. It like kind of looks like one of my cats. Okay. Dr. Nom Noms wanted a two minute speech and he wanted it to be a bad one. The topic is, what can I do for Meow? Let me see. That's like almost my same bed frame. Almost. It's very, very close. If I am elected president, I will do everything I can to help the people of Meow and all the people of this great nation. I have spent the last several months listening to people, learning about their hopes and dreams, their desires, and their fears. I know what they want from the government, and I intend to give it to them, because they deserve the chances that I have been given. I want to ensure that every child in America grows up to see a good future, a clear future, a future that's so bright, I gotta wear shades. That's a good speech. Short and to the point. And I'm pretty sure it's how Dr. Nom Noms feels. It really does care about other people. Oh, but wait. I was supposed to write a bad speech, wasn't I? This one will probably be popular. What should I do? I mean, try to rewrite it. Okay, let's try again. If I'm elected president, I promise to punch babies and steal everyone's Halloween candy! <laughs> That's too far. I will mercilessly taunt all of my political opponents, and since the cable news is on my side, they'll pretend that I am being fair and balanced, when in reality, I'm acting like a four-year-old. That will distract everyone from my many faults and failures because I am a loser. This is wrong. I can't write a speech like that. It's not sincere. It's not Dr. Nom Noms at all. It's also just stupid. I'm running out of time. I don't think I can make up another speech, especially not one that's full of lies. Oh god, I gave Dr. Nom Noms the speech I had already written. I know it wasn't what he asked for, but it was the truth. Oh, so I gave the first one. And you know who taught me that the truth is always best? Dr. Nom Noms. He can't get mad at me if I'm following his example, right? I mean, yeah, but he, you're not doing what he asked. It took him exactly one minute to deliver the speech, and it seemed to go over well. All the big donors applauded loudly. By contrast, DJ Nibbles' speech went on for 17 minutes. By the time he was done, a lot of people were bored. Most of them were texting or playing games on their phone. The rest of the dinner went well, except for the time when Frisky tried to hit on one of the waitresses. I swear, that cat might be a good politician, but he'd be a terrible boyfriend. He flirts with any woman he can. Is he a good politician? It's like a predator. There was also a strange moment when someone tried to ask Rover a question about dogs, but they were afraid of offending people. 
So they introduced a dog who introduced another dog who asked the question. It was awkward. The next day, we didn't do any campaigning. Dr. Nom Nom said that he wanted to give his staff a break after all their hard work. In reality though, he didn't want to help his chances with last minute voters. <laughs> Speaking of cats. My stepdad just sent me a photo of uh, one of my cats. I don't know if, how well this is gonna work. Uh, nope, nope. Oh, that's not coming through well at all. But uh, my my baby, my, my dear sweet baby that is pictured here, is named Strawberry. I named that cat, because uh, the first time I saw her, she was like sniffing at a screen, um, like a screen door. And she was like this little kitten and she had this really, really bright pink nose, like almost red with like a little dot that kind of looks like, like the, the stem top part of a strawberry. So I just like, I saw the photo, it's like, strawberry. Uh, and that stuck as her name. And I love that cat. And uh, she's back with my parents and they had like a paper bag that uh, ended up on the ground that she has now taken to napping inside. So he'll just regularly send me pictures of Strawberry like napping in this paper bag. It's really cute and I love it. <laughs> oh, I miss cats. <sighs> Lizzie and I went to the movies together. After dinner, we went to the office area to see the election results. I just... This is so exciting. I've never watched live election results before. You haven't? Nope. I grew up on the West Coast. The election is usually over well before the West Coast polls close. Almost like our voters don't count in the slightest. Oh, well, this is a state election. It'll be different. Meow. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, I think it's you heard the good news. No, what happened? Here, let me turn it on the TV. With 80% of the districts reporting, we have a clear winner. Frisky has taken Miawa with a commanding 38% of the vote. We lost! Hooray! Yay, we lost! Hooray? All we have to do is lose the other primaries and I'll concede to whoever the front runner is. Hold on a second. There's more to the story. Independence, the second place winner with 26% of the votes is Dr. Nom Noms, who's expected to get as low as 13% according to some polls. No, second place? That's good! You're only 5% behind Frisky! No, that's bad! I'm trying to lose, remember? How did I double my poll numbers? What can I say? You're a really good candidate and people like you. Oh. Is that why you wrote such a good speech for me yesterday? I mean, I asked you to write a bad one. I was surprised by that. Uh, don't worry, I'm not mad. I just, I don't know. I thought you would be a little harsher. Don't most employees like to make their bosses look bad? That's just it, Dr. Nom Noms. I can't make you look bad. You're too nice. Yeah, you're a really good candidate. You shouldn't be trying to fail. You should try harder. The people of Miawa clearly believe that you can win this election, and I believe it too. Why don't you go all out and try your hardest? He doesn't want to be president. He's allowed not to want that. Yeah, the worst that could happen is that you'll lose. But I can't be president. It's too much responsibility. Are you afraid? No, I just... I can't be president. I just can't. Why not? Please stop trying to encourage me. I asked you to help me fail this campaign, and I'd really like it if you cooperated. Please? Wow, even when he's angry, Dr. Nom Noms is nice. Comfort him. Insult him? No. Dr. Nom Noms, what's wrong? Be honest, you can tell me. <sighs> You're right. I am afraid of winning this election. The pressure is almost too much for me. And if I win the primary, it's only going to be a hundred times worse. It's no 
not fair. I never asked to be in this position. Uh, all I wanted was to sell copies of my book and to retire. I didn't want a new career this late in life. Sometimes when I look in the mirror, I have no idea how I got here. And I have no idea where I'm going. I just want to go back to the way things were before the whole campaign business. Oh, poor Dr. Nom Noms. Don't be sad, Dr. Nom Noms. We're scared too. That's right. Lizzie and I have no idea what we're doing here either. You're not the only one with the pressure of an unexpected career. Yeah, you're not alone, Dr. Nom Noms. No matter what happens, you have us. You too. Thank you. Spasibo. We must make a pretty pathetic sight, huh? We get second place in the election, and here we are practically crying about how scared we are. <laughs> That's okay. It's better to be honest about your emotions than to hide them. You're the one who taught me how important honesty is. Thank you. you you're you too good for me. The truth is, I haven't been entirely honest with you. There's another reason why I have to lose in the primary elections. Really? Why? I can't say. It's private, I guess. I've been sworn to secrecy. Now I really want to know. Yeah, me too. Tell you what. I'll tell you the truth when it doesn't matter anymore. That is, when we lose the election. Deal? Deal. Now, no more feeling sorry for ourselves. We are going to do the best we can to lose this election. And we are going to do it as a team. Go team Nom Noms! <laughs> we'll stick with you until the very end, Dr. Nom Noms. You can count on us. Thank you. You two are the best campaign managers I've ever had. Now, what are we doing here in the office? Let's go out and celebrate our victory. Yay! Party! <gasps> Party! In which we unveil our plans to lose the new Clawshire debate. <laughs> this team had fun, whoever made this. The mood in the office changed after that. Lizzie and I were more dedicated to Dr. Nom Noms and his cause. We still think he should win the general election, but we're not going to sabotage his plans or anything like that. I trust Dr. Nom Noms, and if he says that he can't win the election, I guess he can't win it. Still, I wonder why he says he can't win. What deep, dark secret could he be hiding from me? I guess the only way to find out is to lose the election, and I had a great plan for that. Okay, what are our plans? We're going to the new Clawshire. <laughs> We're going to new Clawshire for the next primary. That's also the location of the next debate. Good plan. What are we going to do there? We are going to lose the debate so badly, people will talk about it years from now. I like the sound of that. What's your plan? We're going to go after Thunderpaw. Hmm, the meanest cat. The one most likely to attack me. Interesting. Go on. With every single question, you'll ignore the topic and use it as an excuse to insult Thunderpaw. He won't like that. He won't like that one bit. And when you've brought things to the peak, when he's just about to blow his top off after a barrage of constant insults, you throw a hairball. No. Yes. Can you imagine a candidate throwing a hairball on stage during a national debate? Their campaign would be finished. Ruins over and done with. I know, it's brilliant. One problem though. I'm not sure I can insult Thunderpaw over and over again. Sure, he's kind of brash, but I don't think he's as bad as people make him out to be. If you need help with insults, you can always practice on me. Are you sure? Yes. Try saying... <laughs> you're ugly and stupid and your policies are so out of date, the Truman administration just called and asked if you would stop copying them. <laughs> or, I really like your hair. Obviously the first one. Say the thing I already read, so I'm not reading it again. Um, okay, you're ugly and... 
President Truman thinks your policies are great. <laughs> You're really bad at this whole insult thing. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's one of the things I like about you. Good cat. Well, let's forget about the insults for now. Just focus on doing a hairball on stage at the debate. I can do that. I don't suppose you're willing to bathe yourself on stage? On national television? Never. That's undignified. Right. Hairball it is then. Dr. Nom Nom's prepared for the debate by not preparing at all. The best way to lose is to have no idea what you're saying, right? Of course, being unprepared hadn't worked so far, probably because some of the other candidates had no idea what they were saying. This looks like an auditorium I've been in. I love this little cat. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Sharp Claw Debate, which is being held in preparation for the new Clawshire primary. Our debaters tonight are DJ Nibbles. Such a good name. I'm so pumped to be here. Woo! Thunderpaw. I'm going to win the new Clawshire, and tonight I'm gonna tell you why. Frisky. It's hard to jump between voices. Ugh. Frisky. Sorry I'm late, I was doing a little bit of a last minute preparation with a beautiful Scottish fold. You're cha tail chasing pervert, Frisky. You wouldn't be saying that if you had seen her. Ugh, no. We also have Rover. Yo. <laughs> That's voice effect. Well, for me, I'll make sure to go on here. Tonkania doesn't invade our country and annex our little boxes. Litter boxes. <laughs> so stupid and I love it. <gasps> Dr. Nom Noms. I have no idea how we got this far in the race. And some other nondescript cat. Uh, my name is Kale. Some people think I stand out from the rest of the crowd. It's hard to keep track of all the candidates when they're so similar. Oh, poor Kale. Oh, I want to help Kale. The only candidate you need to know is me, Thunderpaw, the winner. Not a chance. I'm going to win New Clawshire with my youthful energy and enthusiasm. We're leading a kitten revolution. Meow. Whiskers. You gotta be kidding me. You're so inexperienced, you probably don't know how to tie your shoes correctly. It's, do you wear shoes? I would like to interrupt here and point out that I also have no experience. I've never run for office before. I understand what you're saying, Dr. Nom Noms. You're saying that you'll bring a fresh perspective to the presidency because you're an outsider to the political process. Uh, right. So now, let's go on to the first question of the night. This question is for all the candidates, and it's an easy one. Who is your biggest political inspiration? That's an excellent question. I truly have an appreciation for all questions everywhere. Another excellent question, which I wish to discuss is... I think that voice changed. <laughs> the debate went on for another 20 minutes. It was very... debatey. I'm sorry, I do not know how to describe debates. I feel like it depends on the debate? Uh, uh, the first section was about foreign policy, and they all talked about countries I'd never heard of before. Dr. Nom Noms tried to mess up his answer by purposely confusing France and Permany. <laughs> but the moderator corrected him and turned it into a better answer. In fact, that happened a lot. The moderator would comment on Dr. Nom Noms' answers and improve them. I was surprised. Aren't moderators supposed to be fair and balanced? Today's moderator is totally favoring Dr. Nom Noms. That's not the first time that happened this election season either. 
with the fancy furball debate, the moderator was really nice to the party favorite the entire time and asked easy questions about things like the weather. They were really nasty to all the other candidates and asked them tough questions, like naming all the amendments in backwards order. That's not fair. I think it's because the party favorite funds that... T Ooh. Because the party favorite funds that television network. Or because companies and people who withdraw their support from the party tend to get subjected to government investigations and heavy audits. The fancy furballs say that's just a coincidence, but still. Eesh. Just like the fancy furball favorite, Dr. Nom Noms was more or less coasting through the debate. Scratch Stitt, West Virginia, and Nevada. Clark... Clarson City, that's all the capitals there are. Good job, DJ Nibbles, but you were supposed to answer in the form of a question. What? But I named all 50 state capitals. Give me some credit. Now, a question for Dr. Nom Noms. Do you like cheeseburgers and soda? That's literally what I ate for dinner. <laughs> yes. Ah, the, the, the. Pardon, I'm supposed to be... A bad Russian. A true American. <laughs> the true American. Yes. Nothing rich or fancy about this cat. He's just your average Tom. Next, I'll ask the cat on the end to perform some math mathematical derivatives. My name is Kale. Yeah, Dr. Nom Nom's is totally winning this debate. We have to stop his momentum. We can't wait until the end for him to throw a hairball. He has to do it right now. Uh, try and signal Dr. Nom Noms. I'll use body language to signal him. Cough, hair, ball, cough, hair, ball. <laughs> it's like cat hair balls. Cat hair balls, cat hair. Or however that went. That was like a Ren and Stimpy bit, wasn't it? all over the place. I think it's working. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Actually, most of the people in the area are looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh dear. I must have gotten the message though, because it wasn't long afterwards that he launched his attack. Dr. Nom Noms is a loser. He's not even a real doctor. He doesn't deserve to be here on the main stage. He should be at the kids table with all the other junior senators. Oh wait, Nom Noms isn't a junior senator. He's a nobody without any experience. Dr. Nom Noms, your response to this vicious, unprovoked attack, this mean tirade which shows that Thunderpaw is a classless moron, I have one thing to say, which will show you my true personality. I... I... Ew, ew, ew. I wish I hadn't had your headphones on that. <gasps> ah! No! My hair! Thunderpole is bald? Oh, sorry, that was supposed to be British. No, don't look at me, I'm hideous! <laughs> the crowd broke into an uproar after that. The moderator tried to regain control, but it was impossible. T the TV network cut to commercial. <laughs> In which Thunderpaw loses more than his hair and Lizzie reveals her secret crush. Don't crush on a cat, that's weird. Love cats, sure, but like, there's a limit. Welcome back to the debate! If you're just joining us, this has been a momentous occasion. The great and wonderful Dr. Nom Noms has exposed Thunderf Thunderpaw as a fraud and a phony. For wearing a wig? Wrong. It doesn't matter that I lied about my toupee. I am still a young, wonderful cat. Not an aging has-been who is trying to hide his own boldness. Are you sure? Of course I am. Ooh, get out of here, you phony. We don't like lying candidates. Go home. Down with Thunderpaw. Down with Thunderpaw. 
no, I'm not a liar. I just need a different toupee and wah. Oh, I'd still rub his belly. Thunderpaw burst into tears and ran away from the debate. Aww. I mean, Thunderpaw was like mean, but I want to snuggle him anyway. <laughs> Good. Now that we have the phony gone, let's continue with the debate. Phew. Maybe now there's one less candidate on stage, people will remember me. Quiet, Shale. The next question is for Frisky. Poor Kale. The results of the debate? No real surprise. Thunderpaw came in dead last with 0.2% of the vote. Two days later, he dropped out of the race and started a new career as a used car salesman. Oh. Uh. As for Dr. Nom Noms, his popularity exploded. He won New Clawshire with 43% of the vote. Frisky came in second with 29%. I can't believe it. The plan to lose the race backfired. Yeah, talk about weird. I thought the hairball stuff was totally gross. Well, how are we supposed to know that one of the other cats was wearing a fur piece? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I'm the front runner. Risky can still take the selection from us. He came in first and Meow won second this time around. Frisky is too busy trying to find a first lady to pay attention to the race. And South Catalina is the state he pulls verse in. Yeah, this is rough. We need to figure out a way to ensure that you lose this next primary. I hate to say it, but I don't think we have any choice anymore. We need to create a career-ending scandal. Like running a fake presidential campaign in order to sell books? <laughs> no, something really bad, like blocking the speaker of the meows on litter, or stealing speeches from other people. <laughs> oh, we can call it Speechgate. Or wait, what if we do it on the Golden Gate Bridge? We could call it Golden Gate Gate. Lizzie, I'm putting you in timeout. <laughs> I appreciate your effort, Lizzie, but... Remember, we need to be careful about this. Uh, we want something that will destroy my political career, but not something that will destroy my reputation forever. That means I can't crash the campaign by saying a bunch of really stupid things. That's ended a lot of presidential campaigns in the past, but it's out of the question here. Hmm, I've got it. What if people learned you have a secret wife? Yeah, a secret wife. That'd be perfect. And I know the right person for the job. Um... I guess Lizzie. Oh no! That was a negative. Oh, I chose wrong. I just... I don't want to marry a cat. Hello! Hello, hello! Yes, I... Gave all the cats different accents, and I ran out of things. Like, different accents and voices, so I gave this one a Russian one, not realizing that then it was gonna be the main cat that I was stuck with, so apologies for the terrible Russian accent. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know if you were- were you streaming today? Were you cooking today? I still didn't have chicken with waffles, it's still on my list though. <laughs> Lizzie will be your secret wife. She's better wife material than I am. I'm just sort of dumpy and plain. Aw, oh, Gray. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find a fake boyfriend someday. <laughs> but I don't really want a fake boyfriend. I want Dr. Nom Noms. Wait, what am I saying? I don't think of Dr. Nom Noms in a romantic way. Do I? Why, I never even thought of dating him until just now. It's a cat! Please don't date a cat! Nah, no stream today. But I made catfish, mashed potatoes, rice, and steamed veggies just now. Ah, uh, I'm drooling. Oh, that sounds so good. Uh, I ordered fast food. Like, like a winner. <laughs> that sounds delicious, though. Uh, hold it, hold it. I can't have a secret wife. I don't even have a real wife. 
You're not married? A catch like you? Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Not that Dr. Nom Noms was single, but that my heart beat so quickly when I heard this information. I mean, he's my boss. I can't have a crush on my boss who's also a cat and I am a human. <laughs> Look, we're getting a little out of paw here. Why don't we end the conversation for now? We can all go home and think about it some more. Tomorrow, uh, everyone can bring a list of five potential scandals. We'll go over them together and pick the best one. Agreed? Agreed. I agree too. In the meantime, I'll come up with a schedule for what we'll do in South Carolina after I go through all the new donations. We have new donations? Sorry about the chicken and waffles. You hadn't redeemed them yet this morning. <laughs> Fair. I did make pancakes last night, so that's like close. I made a lot of pancakes last night, and I ate all of them. I <laughs> I want to say I regretted it because it was definitely way too much food for one sitting, but I didn't. It was great. <laughs> so... No regrets. <laughs> Since Thunderpaw is out of the race, all his donors got their money back. Some of them want to reinvest in our campaign. Not to mention all the people who are donating because you're the new frontrunner. <sighs> Losing a political campaign should not be this hard. In any case, thank you for all your hard work. It took me two hours to go through all the investor paperwork. In one night, Dr. Nom Noms had received over four million dollars. I couldn't believe it. Maybe he did have a legitimate chance of winning the campaign. That's a lot of money. Once the paperwork was done, I ordered a light meal to be sent to the hotel room that Lizzie and I were sharing. I was ready to eat, jump into bed, and crash. Lizzie had other ideas. Did you put cinnamon on the pancakes? I didn't! Oh, I should have. How many pancakes is a lot? How many? They were, they were like this big? And it was like five or six of them. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. Uh... I did not put cinnamon on the, um, because uh, they had, um, I did sprinkles. They were like vanilla with like sprinkles. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, though granted, I don't think I had eaten much that day. So it was totally worth it's totally worth just stuff in my face. Pancakes! Um, Gray, do you mind if I ask you something personal? Of course not. We're best friends. What up? It's about Dr. Nom Noms and his campaign. I feel really bad that we're trying to lose. <laughs> this cat up in the corner. I know what you mean. He's such a nice cat. It feels wrong to ruin his campaign, even though that's what he's paying us for. No, I meant something more than that. Not as many as you think. Gotta add cinnamon in with the dry stuff before you mix. I am gonna do that. Next time I make pancakes, I am absolutely gonna do that. I love cinnamon. I... <laughs> to the point that sometimes if I make um, chicken, I sometimes put cinnamon in it. <laughs> Depending on like what the other stuff is going in. But yeah, cinnamon's nice. What do you mean? I... I think I have a crush on Dr. Nom Noms. It's a cat! It's a cat! <laughs> what? I know it's wrong, a girl and a cat. There's no future for a relationship like that, but I can't help how I feel. He's really special, you know? One of a kind. I've never met a guy who's so sweet and sensitive. He meets thousands of people a week, and you get the sense that he honestly cares about every single one of them. All my life, I've waited for a guy who honestly cares about me. I mean, you know what happened with Johnny. I thought he cared, but I was wrong. Please don't date a cat. What do you think? Is it totally crazy for me to be attracted to Dr. Nom Nom's personality? <sighs> <laughs> it is revolting and you should stop. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, no, you're a human. You should not be attracted to 
You should not want to date a cat. <laughs> I remember one campaign IRL that seemed like they were trying to lose somehow still won. <laughs> yup. Uh I mean I'm not I I'm going to choose the that's revolting. I don't want to say it so bluntly, but also don't date cats. Love cats, own cats, care for cats, cuddle cats. Don't date cats. Uh, quit your job and stay- Oh, no, not that hard. No, that's too harsh. You hate him that much? No, I like him. I mean, you're right. Be a perfect boyfriend. Heck, maybe even a perfect husband material. So you get it. It's just one problem. We're fighting over the same guy. No, he's our boss. You can't start a relationship with a business partner without it getting all weird and awkward. Do you really think Dr. Nom Noms is capable of being weird and awkward? No, I think if there was an awkward situation, he'd be his usual self. But still, there's a reason people don't date their bosses. Besides, we're human, and he's a cat. Please, we could always get a cat- What? Cat to transformationario? What? Whatever that word is supposed to be. Uh, what? <laughs> Thank you! A cat to transformatio? You know, we could get turned into cats. That's how cats became super smart in the first place. Wait, I could turn into a cat? It's still weird. But also, I want to be a cat. Now that you mentioned it, I remembered hearing something about that. Back in the day, the scientists who were experimenting with human cat processes accidentally created the new race of super cats who could think and act on a human level. <laughs> Be blunt. What is this trying to- <laughs> Apparently? So, like, for Valentine's Day, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll do a dating sim or something. So I was, like, searching through things, and then I found this game, which just looked really, really weird. And so they were saying, like, oh, yeah, there's- it's, like, kind of a dating thing. But I didn't think that it was, like, a human trying to date a cat. <laughs> That's crossing lines I do not wish to cross. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do my best to remain single. <laughs> uh, at first, the only thing the cats said was, whatever, I don't care. Scientists thought they had made a mistake somewhere, but no. It turned out that the cats just didn't care about anything the scientists did or said. Oh yeah, I'm also like trying to not be president. Because it's uh, all about being a president. It, this is a very strange game, but I also am already obsessed with it. <laughs> the super cat genes spread like wildfire throughout the world, to the point where the majority of cats can now talk and think, and run for president. Obviously. <laughs> okay, I've heard enough of the super cat gene, but I've never heard of the catu whatever thing before. The catu transformatio. Machio? Matio? Because cat brains and human brains are so similar now, you can do a human to cat transplant, and vice versa. Really? Isn't that super dangerous? <laughs> Hi! Uh, I'm so happy that Strawberry is lurking. Uh, I was sharing Strawberry's photo earlier um, because it's super cute. And. Hi, Sarobi! Happy Valentine's Day! I caught some of you and your ladies stream earlier and it was very, very cute. Um, and th thank you for the lurk. At first it was, but now they perform over 200 of them per year. Huh, so we could become cats. Or Dr. Nom Noms could become a human? Yeah! Gee, I wonder when, which one would be better. Human Dr. Nom Noms could be pretty hot, but I've always wanted to be able to see in the dark. I couldn't believe I hadn't heard about the Catu Transformatio before now. It was amazing, like magic. All my objections to starting a relationship with Dr. Nom Noms disappeared. Well, I'll accept one. I'm still not gonna date a cat. That's still weird. He's still our boss, Lizzie. Plus, he's under a lot of pressure right now. 
Maybe we should worry about relationships after the election is over? Yeah, you're right, as usual. Still, wouldn't it be fun to become a feline? Everybody wants to be a cat. I'll be a cat. I would like that. Meow. <laughs> Picks a vice president and Lizzie makes a really bad decision. Oh dear. <laughs> More impressive part is that cats are living at least the age of 35 in this game. <sighs> yeah. Good. I mean, I'd like that. I wish that was... <laughs> I wish that was real. <laughs> I looked up more information about the Catu Transformatio. It comes from Latin, meaning cat transformation. The name was coined by lazy scientists who wanted to make themselves look fancy by using Latin. I feel that. The first Catu Transformatio, Matio, I, I, sure I'm butchering, I don't know Latin, had been politicians, believe it or not. After humans were banned from politics, Lifeline Lifetime politicians from old political families turned themselves into cats so they could run for office again. <laughs> this game is so weird. In the process, they rendered themselves infertile, and since cats don't live as long as humans, they died out pretty quickly. Oh. Today, the process is a safe one. In fact, it's common for ex-presidents to turn themselves into humans so they can enjoy a longer retirement. The problem? It's non-reversible. If I turned into a cat, my human body would be destroyed in the process. Would I be willing to do that? To never be human again? Human again, no, no, human again. Anyway, I wasn't sure, and thankfully, I didn't have to make that decision. Still, thinking about that much, uh, thinking that much about animals gave me an idea. A brilliant idea. <laughs> Aristocats, was that you? <laughs> Good morning, Grey. You look cheerful today. I am! That's because I figured out a way to solve our problems. Good. You thought of a scandal which will ruin this campaign? Sort of. Our problem is that you're too nice. Too likable. You stand out from the others due to your honesty and integrity. And there's no way to ruin the campaign without ruining you in the process. So, how do we get around that? We add a new member to the campaign team. Someone guaranteed to bring us failure. We should... Pick an awful vice president. We need to pick someone really bad for vice president. I understand what you're saying. If I pick a really bad cat as vice president, it will sink the campaign. People will refuse to vote for me for fear of that cat becoming president. That's brilliant. You figured out how to sink the campaign, while keeping my reputation intact. I'm not finished. You're not? Oh, you have a cat in mind for the position? Of course. Who is it? Is it that crazy cat who wants to replace Alcars with large slingshots? That would not go well. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't replace cars with slingshots. Not a cat. A human? I can't pick a human as my vice president. The law says no humans can run for office. Yes, but it doesn't forbid other animals. I was thinking you could pick bunnies. Bunnies? But they can't think and talk the way kids do. They mostly just hop around and chew things. Oh, I love bunnies. They're so cute. That's the idea. If you pick a non-sentient animal as your VP, it's likely to ruin the campaign. Either that, or you can pick a rock, or a chair, or something like that. Hmm. It would be fun to pick a ball of yarn as VP, but I suppose bunnies will be best. At least it will look like I'm trying. Great! I'll get everything prepared then. I was thinking of holding a press conference outside the airport in South Carolina as soon as you land. Good. In the meantime, I'll go through my emails. There was a front page article about me in the Claw Street Journal this morning, and I've got a lot of fallout from that. Isn't it Lizzie's job to take care of those things? Yes, but she hasn't shown up yet. Really? Weird. 
She left our hotel room an hour before I did. I figured she was getting an early start on work. Is she gonna show up as a cat? Ah! They'll call her and figure out where she is. Will do. First, I need to go to the pet store and buy some bunnies. How much money do you think? Is it a cat? Is it a cat? Is it a cat? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, do, 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 do. I stopped talking when a strange cat entered the office. We've had our fair share of unusual visitors, which is why we kept the door locked. I didn't know how this cat got inside. Meow? Hello? Hello? Hello there. Who are you? I'm mostly fine. My tail hurts a little more than I expected, and my vision is still adjusting, but overall, the surgery went well. Surgery? What are you talking about? Oh no. <laughs> Please tell me she didn't. It's me, Lizzie! I got a cat to transfer Matteo! Or however. This is gonna backfire. Not to alarm you, but it appears you got some stars stuck in your hair. <laughs> yes! It's a headband I almost never wear because it's metal, and if I don't line it up properly, it digs into my brain. <laughs> but it's really cute! <laughs> so I wear it anyway. <laughs> Suffer for fashion! You did what? She did. Lizzie, you turned yourself into a cat. Yeah, I wanted to be more like Dr. Nom Noms. That way, it would help the campaign. How does being a cat help the campaign? You only did this because you have a huge crush on him. Wow, way to out her right in front of him. Um, what? <laughs> Not true. Sure, it's a lot easier for the Dr. Nomsy ship. <laughs> to sail, now that we're the same species, but that wasn't at all what I was thinking. When did you do this? This morning? Did you talk to anyone about it in advance? Like, your parents? Why did they have to know? It's my life, and I can do what I want with it. So you get to ruin your life, without any thought to how it'll affect the people around you? How selfish. Hey, you know, it's her life, yeah. What's the big deal? If I want to be a cat for a few weeks, so what? <gasps> I could always go back to being a human if I don't like it. No, you can't. The process is irreversible. <laughs> How did you not know that? French says beauty is pain. <laughs> Your friend is not wrong. <laughs> Didn't you read the paperwork they made you fill out ahead of time? No, it was like five pages and boring. I was so mad at Lizzie right then. I could barely speak. Luckily, Dr. Nom Nom stepped in. Lizzie, I understand that this is a big change in your life. I will be here to support you. You will? Yes. And if you need help adjusting to being a kid, I can try to help. See, Gray? That's how a good friend is supposed to react to this good news. You're lucky you're so cute and I just won't pet you. <laughs> you are a cat! <laughs> a cat! How is that not completely, completely turning your life around? It's a big change, but you'll get used to it. Want to hear me purr? Yes! No. Sure, why not? Purp, aww. That's not purring. All you're doing is saying the word purr. Do it like this. And <laughs> you're cute! I don't know if, um, if Barlinski is still in the chat or just lurking. Uh, He's saying that my cat Strawberry is is watching um, earlier today. Because Barlinsky is my stepdad. Uh, earlier today, Strawberry uh, and I were on like a video call together, and I got to hear Strawberry purr, and it was really really cute. I love it. Oh, I miss cats. Let me try. 
Yay! I did it! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Nom Noms. You have so much to teach me about my new body. I don't like how you phrased that. No, nope, nope. She sidled up next to Dr. Nom Noms like a molly in heat, cuddling up to a tom. It was disgusting. <laughs> Let Lissy steal your one chance of true love. I don't want to get involved in that. Yep, that's fine. I decided to let Lizzie steal my one chance at true love. After all, this was her chance at true love too. That's when I decided to quit the campaign and chase my lifelong dream of owning a yogurt stand in Furida. I ended up growing old and alone. I actually became one of those creepy cat ladies. I think I just game over it myself. No wait, I can't let that be my future. I need to stop this. Lizzie, show some restraint. Oh, I got the achievement forever alone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't know how to control my new body yet. Liar. You're staying with me for the rest of the day. We're going to the computer store. But I thought you were going to the pet shop. I was, but now I have to buy a cat-sized computer for Lizzie here. Oh, right. I can't type on my old keyboard with these paws. <laughs> made the decision for you. Yeah! Rude! Don't give me options if I can't actually take them. Hey, while we're there, can we get a saucer of milk? I've always wanted to drink out of one of those. I tried doing it as a human, but I accidentally fell and broke my nose. How? We'll see. Lizzie and I spent most of the day getting the things she needed for her new life as a cat. At first I was really mad, but eventually I calmed down. Lizzie is my friend, and I want what's best for her. That hasn't changed, even if she's a cat now. Still, I'm worried what will happen in the future. If we both make a play for Dr. Nom Noms' affection, could this be the thing that tears our friendship apart? No, because I will literally not stand in your way. Like, at all. I'm not sure. Maybe I should take myself out of the running and just let Lizzie date- Yes! Let him date him! Let her date him. After all, she gave up her entire life to be with him. She clearly likes him more than I do. Yeah. In which everything backfires! Badly. It's starting. Toshiba. That kind of looks like Barlinski, the cat that my stepdad's account is named after. This is Olaf, the Norwegian forest cat, reporting live outside Charl Histon Air International Airport for Animal World News. Dr. Nom Noms has recently landed, and he plans to give a speech of monumental importance. As you probably know, Dr. Nom Noms has recently shot to the top of the presidential race after the exit of his competitor, Thunderpaw. Dr. Nom Noms not only leads the sharp claws in the polls, but he is rated favorably against the fancy furballs. F-fooballs? Our research shows him 23 points ahead of FF frontrunner Fuzzy Tummy Rubs. <laughs> he leads against Sleepy McWilliams in his 45 points, which is almost insurmountable. Fuzzy Tummy Rubs. With such good ratings, it's only natural that all eyes are on Dr. Nom Noms today. And unless I'm mistaken, we're about to begin. Just like, alright, just let the loot. Right? Hello everyone, are you ready? Good! Introducing Dr. Nom Noms. I just wanna boop that nose. Straight boop. Hello, welcome to all of you in South Carolina, and all of you watching at home. I have come here not to campaign in the upcoming primary, but to tell you some important information. For several hundred years, our country was run by humans. No one even dreamed of giving cats the equal right to vote, much less the right to become president. And yet, cats are not the only ones to be oppressed. There are many other animals who have never had the chance to run for office. That is why, today, I am going to make history by choosing, for the first time ever, a bunny rabbit as my vice-presidential match. 
say hello to Flopsy and her lovely husband, Bugs. <laughs> that audio effect was great! Oh, and they're so cute. Can they talk? No, but sometimes they make little grunting sounds when you feed them treats. I want to feed a rabbit. Which one is Flopsy and which one is Bugs? Flopsy is the female. Any other questions? <laughs> no? <laughs> I see. Clearly, you're amazed at the fact that rabbits will finally get representation on the level of the federal government. On their recommendation, I have decided to increase funding for carrots and to write a bill banning the sale of bunny slippers. It is the first thing I will sign into law, if elected president. <laughs> Why do you not punch the cat? Just poop the nose. Just do it with you poop. Little, little, little poke. <laughs> yeah, I would never punch a cat. Oh no. They're just, cats are just for loving and just cuddling and do 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 do. Can you tell I'm cat-deprived? The silence of the news reporters spoke volumes. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe that Dr. Nom Noms would pick a non-talking animal as his running mate. It was great! The campaign was gonna crash and burn now. Hooray! We finally figured out a way to end the campaign! Now we can retire and live the easy life. We threw a huge celebration dinner that night. It was me, Dr. Nom Noms, and Lizzie. Flopsy and Bugs were invited, but the restaurant did not allow pets. <laughs> Lizzie and Dr. Nom Noms were closer than ever, now that they were cats. I felt a twinge of jealousy. No, I didn't. But it was for the best. She deserved to be happy with him. And me, I would still be happy, knowing my two best friends were together. Because yes, somewhere along the line, Dr. Nom Noms had become my best friend. Move over, Lizzie. I have some ancient Egyptian in you. <laughs> Naturally. Gray? Gray? What's wrong? Sorry, I spaced out for a moment there. It's just, you two look so great together as a couple. Thanks. You told her that we are a couple? No, she didn't say anything. I could just tell. Well, we're not an official couple yet, but we did decide to go on a date and see where it goes. That's wonderful! I wish both of you the best. Thank you. I hope it works out too. I mean, you're at least both cats. You're still- it's still a boss and an employee, which is like, not cool. But... You're at least both the same species. <laughs> I'm a little worried about how this will affect Lizzie though. Dating a high-profile presidential candidate during a campaign? She's going to be attacked by reporters. Not for long, though. The campaign has tanked. Yeah, it's over. I saw the early news programs, and they all predict that you'll lose. Ha! Ah, that's wonderful. Our long job is finally at an end. Yep, the last I saw, you're pulling at a tenth of what you... For a second, I thought that was my actual phone. Gray, is something wrong? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. What is it? My phone is saying... Oh, no, this is impossible. What is it? Hashtag Dr. Nom Noms is the second most trending topic on litter after hashtag it's bunny time. I think everyone is happy that you picked a rabbit as your partner. How is this possible? You said the news program's predicting I would lose. They did, but I guess the people in media have different ideas about what they want to see from the government. No, this cannot be happening. That was your phone. <laughs> Got a loud phone. <laughs> Let me see those results. They no. How could you do this to me, Gray? You said you would ruin my campaign. With old numbers like these, I'll probably be the first cat to serve the maximum term length of 10 years. That is, if they don't pass a law letting me serve for longer. I'm sorry. I never expected this to happen. 
I'm sorry too, because I like you, Grey. I hate to have to do this. Do what? <gasps> I'm fired! There's no room for you on the Dr. Nom Nom's campaign anymore. No, you can't do that. It's not her fault. I know, but ever since you joined this campaign, I've only gotten more and more popular. If I want to lose, I have to get rid of you. I'm sorry. I truly am. I understand. I understand. You don't have a choice here. But there's one thing I don't understand. You'd make such a good president. Why are you trying to sink your campaign? I told you, I don't have a choice. No, you didn't tell me anything. All you said is that you have a personal secret, something you couldn't tell him. Stop being so noise, noisy, nosy. If he doesn't want to say, he doesn't want to say. He doesn't have to. What? Truth is, I haven't been entirely honest with you. There's another reason why I have to lose in the primary elections. Really? Why? I can't say. It's private. I guess I've been sworn to secrecy. Oh, I guess we're just doing a flashback. Now I really want to know. Yeah, me too. Tell you what. I'll tell you the truth when it doesn't matter anymore. That is, when we lose the election. Deal? Deal. Yeah, he hasn't lost yet. You're too good at your job. You're fired. <laughs> flashback? It's not great enough. Agreed! Also, hi! Happy Valentine's Day! Hope you're doing well. I don't know if you did, did anything fun today. Can't you tell your big secret to Grey? Seeing as she won't be part of the campaign anymore? You're right. You're both right. Grey deserves to know. Do I? I don't feel like I've done anything that deserves this. Good. But I can't say it in front of you, Lizzie. This is still top secret. Fine, I'll go. But I'll be back soon. Kisses! Okay, what is it? What's the secret? Why are you trying to lose your campaign? It is Valentine's Day! Is it? Oh, actually, it's not Valentine's Day. That ended two minutes ago where I am. Uh. Yeah, three. Oh, three minutes ago. Nah. But still in some parts of the country. Okay, uh, yeah. Why are you trying to lose your campaign? I was ordered to lose this campaign. By Mother Russia. <laughs> Who ordered you to lose? Socks. The head of the Sharp Claw political party. The head of your political party ordered you to lose this election? A month after my campaign began, I was summoned to a meeting with Socks. Top secret. I wasn't allowed to tell anyone, not even my campaign manager at the time. We met in a small room, but Socks did not waste any time. He told me that I could never become president. Why not? He didn't say. All he said was that there was no chance, no chance at all, that he would pick me to represent the Sharp Claws in the general election. And he has to wait to back that threat up. Even if all the delegates support me, he can go against their wishes and pick someone else. So, really? That's why I have to lose. Even if I win every single state by a huge majority, the party is going to pick someone else. I, I mean, you can still, if you wanted it, you could still go for it then, because you won't look bad. <gasps> it is half off chocolate day! I'm gonna buy so much chocolate today! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm I'm straight up writing a note. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not religious, but I'm gonna try to do Lent to like give up junk food because I I eat too many bad things. Um But that doesn't start till the 17th. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat so much garbage. <laughs> ah! Oh, I love that. Uh, no, I don't think that's right. That is, I don't think they're trying to fix the election to make sure a particular candidate wins. They are just trying to make sure I lose. Sucks doesn't care who wins as long as it's not me. 
He even said that he'd vote for a fancy furball over me. Rude. Do you know why he hates you so much? I have no idea. That was the first and only time I ever talked to him. Suspicious. So, now you know. That is why I have to lose this election. Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> you snowed in, so I'm not going anywhere today. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard that there's snow hitting at a, a bunch of places. Uh, we make it to the National Convention. Yeah, I definitely- I'm more so gonna try to see if I can, like, order stuff instead of going outside. <laughs> Ugh. I walked out of the restaurant in a daze. The leader of the Sharp Claws had a personal vendetta against Dr. Nom Noms? Who would believe it? It was hard to think anyone could have a vendetta against Dr. Nom Noms. He is such a nice cat. Aside from the fact that he fired me, of course. But that's okay. I understand why he had to do it. I was ruining his campaign. And anyway, he did give me a nice severance package. Lizzie was promoted to head campaign manager in my place, and the first thing she tried to do was attack me, believe it or not. You know, she tried to get a story like Dr. Nom Noms' campaign manager fired and replaced under mysterious circumstances. It was a good idea for a scandal, but it didn't work because a celebrity had said something stupid earlier that day. News media just dedicated itself uh, to covering every single angle of the huge celebrity blunder. <laughs> there were non-stop interviews with offended parties, minor MewTube stars, Clollywood insiders, and others who weren't involved or affected by the situation at all. God, I... That must have been a fun day where just the writing team had to go through and just be like, QUICK! Give us cat puns for everything. <laughs> the protests got so large that the next day, the celebrity made a public apology, saying that they were joking when they made the offensive remark. Sure they were. This got people even more upset, decrying the celebrity for bowing to political correctness. Dozens of think pieces were written about how the First Amendment protects your right to be a jerk whenever you want without any consequences. And while nobody actually read them, everybody had a very strong opinion about them. Oof. Ultimately, the entire thing was later revealed to be a hoax in order to advertise the celebrity's newest TV show. None of the major networks reported this fact because no story lasts beyond two news cycles unless it involves one of the news, uh, the network's sponsors. <laughs> Lizzie tried making up new scandals for Dr. Nom Noms, like saying he got trapped inside a cardboard box for three hours and had to get rescued by the fire department. She claimed his old house had been purchased by mice enthusiasts, and that he was caught wearing a leash to go for walkies. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. I, uh... One of my mom's cats definitely liked walks, but this, this reminds me of a cat that I had that anytime she had to ride in the car, she was always, like, really scared and really nervous. So, I don't remember how, I guess when she was a kitten my mom like let her out of the carrier to like walk around and she the spot that she like ended up being comfortable was right behind my mom's neck like while she was driving like that was her little safe spot so her entire life anytime she had to be in the car to like go to the vet or or what have you that's where she would be including when she was like a full-grown cat so she would just be the, like this cat just draped over my mom's shoulders <laughs> And it was always so funny, but that was the only place where she felt comfortable in the car. She's like, she just, she had to just pee on my mom's neck. Oh, it was so cute. It's going into the negative tonight. Tomorrow, high as four. Dang. Stay bundled, y'all. If you can stay inside, do it. Meow. <laughs> Lizzie tried to come up with bad places for Dr. Nom Noms uh, to campaign at, like the Anti-Voting League and his own living room. She gave him speeches on irrelevant topics like the best way to play with yarn and reprogramming your GPS for fun and profit. What? 
It didn't work. Nothing she tried worked. Dr. Nom Noms' campaign grew stronger and stronger as more cats dropped out of the race. Oh, I hope Kale is still in it. Come on, Kale, I'm rooting for you. Frisky and... Oh, Man, Team Kale. In the end, the only three cats that made it to the National Convention, Dr. Nom Noms, Frisky, and Lincoln Paw... Pawy. <laughs> I hadn't heard of Lincoln Pawy before. He was a long-shot candidate from Pod Island who decided to run for president just for the fun of it. <laughs> I used to be an... Oh, oh. Thunderpaw's gone, I'll be British again. I used to be an alcoholic. That wasn't British at all. Lying on the ground all the time near the wine bottles, hoping someone would spill a few drops so I could lap them up. Next slide. Then I got into drugs. I got high. Literally. I jumped to the top of the shelf and I couldn't get down. I was like, meowch. Next slide. Those intense moments gave me pause. <laughs> I cleaned myself up, got a fur coat, and went to the catholic priest <laughs> at the local cathedral. He taught me the importance of forgiveness and saying, Meow cop. <laughs> he also tried to teach me about dogma, but I'm afraid of dogma, so it didn't go very well. In conclusion, I am a nice, normal cat, and I should become president. Thank you very much. Bless. <laughs> Layers. Yeah. Hasn't been above freezing it out. Ooh, that is cold. Yeah, I've been inside like the whole time. Uh, so yeah, that's gotta that's gotta be fun for anyone who has to. Hmm, should have dropped out long ago. That cat looks smug. <laughs> huh? That's. <laughs> Let's do some politics. And then pictures of food. Okay. Jeez, that cat woke up on the wrong side of the pillow this morning. He's always like that. Dr. Nom Noms? Lizzie? What are you two doing? Hi, Gray. We saw you here at the convention, so we decided to say hi. What brings you here? Uh. Oh, uh, no, I came to see you. Came here to see you. It's been a long time and. I don't know. I miss you two. You're my best friends. Not to mention the cutest couple in politics. You didn't tell her? I thought you did. What is it? Lizzie and I broke up. Kind of. We only went on the fun date. Yeah, Dr. Nom Noms is great, but he's not the one for me. I just wish I knew that before turning myself into a cat. What was that? Nothing! I love being a cat. Meow! Love it. Lizzie leaned close and whispered into my ear so no one else could hear. Did you know cats clean themselves with their tongues? It's disgusting. I cannot put up with any cats who don't take showers like normal people. <laughs> I feel your pain, Lizzie. I feel your pain. Well, it's great to see you again, Gray. We'll have to talk after the interrogation is over. Interrogation? He nodded to the darkened room door down the hall where a grumpy cat was questioning the candidates. Unscrupulous spending and cover ups. How do we know it won't continue? Look, I have a history of chasing females, both cat and human, but I can control it, I swear. I just slipped up once or twice. Frisky. I would say 18, 18 sexual harassment lawsuits is more than just once or twice. If you're serious about winning this election, I recommend that you be neutered immediately. That sucks. The leader of the Sharp Claw National Committee. The one who told you were, that is, who told you to come here? Yes. 
couldn't talk about socks out loud, not in front of Lizzie. Now that I've seen socks for myself, it makes a little more sense that he would have a vendetta against Dr. Nom Noms. He seemed to have a vendetta against everyone. Hey, what if that was it? Maybe Socks threatened every candidate to drop out of the race. It was some sort of weird test to see who was tough enough to make it to the end. He certainly seemed like the kind of cat who would do that. Unfortunately, once Dr. Nom Noms went up, it became clear that Socks was gunning for him. No political experience, no chance of winning the election. On the contrary, I've won most of the states in the primaries. Most, not all, and only 30% of Sharp Claw Sharp Claws voted in the primaries. If you can't generate enough excitement to get Sharp Claws to the polls, we will lose in the general election. That's not exactly fair. Historically, the general election gets four times as many voters as the primaries do. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your precious little feelings? Do you need to sit in the corner and mew for a bit? Because we're not talking about history, we're talking about you and your complete inability to win this election. Mean cat. We need an experienced politician, one who can work inside the system, not an idiot who rose to the top by throwing hairballs at other candidates. Ouch. Poor Dr. Nom Noms. Looks like he's gonna lose. That's good, isn't it? He wants to lose. That's why he's not really fighting back against Sox's criticism. Still, it seems unfair. Dr. Nom Noms won the primaries. He should make it to the general election. I don't care if the campaign was fake to begin with. Dr. Nom Noms is a great candidate who deserves to win. I agree. Dr. Nom Noms is our best chance for a secure future. But how do we help, uh, help him get past this final hurdle? Buy him some coffee. <laughs> Defend him in front of Socks. Um... I guess defend him? Maybe, like, defend him? Yeah. Wait, what? I don't know, seems like sexual harassment case. <laughs> I wish you were wrong, but you're so right! Uh, it hurts. It hurts. Um, let's defend him. In front of Socks, which is a really good name for a cat. We need to defend Dr. Nom Noms, even if it means sneaking into the interrogation room and talking to Socks directly. I can't do that! I'm afraid of being caught by security! Don't be a scaredy cat, Lizzie. But I'm frightened! And I'm a cat! <laughs> okay then, I'll go talk to Socks. You distract the guards. That, I think I can do. Lizzie ran away and distracted the guards. With the area cleared, I was able to slip in right next to Dr. Nom Noms. I knew I shouldn't do this. Interrupting the proceedings was probably a really bad idea, one that could result in jail time or worse, but I couldn't stand by and watch as Dr. Nom Noms lost the nomination. Again, but does he want this? He said he didn't want to be president. Stop! Stop the questioning! I have something important to say. <laughs> Socks looks very annoyed that you were interrupting him. We give a great speech and learn the truth behind Socks' anger. That was very sudden. All eyes were on me as I opened my mouth and began to speak. This questioning is a fraud. A fraud perpetrated against the fair and gentle Dr. Nom Noms. Grey, what are you doing? You've all noticed it, right? Socks is being unfair to Dr. Nom Noms, and that's because Socks has already chosen his candidate. He's just going through the motions at this point. Get out of here, now. Stay. No. I won't allow you to take this election away from Dr. Nom Noms. He is the best candidate, and you know it. He's inspired so many people, touched so many lives, and he's the most popular candidate of either party. Yet you're gonna reject his candidacy and replace him with Frisky, aren't you? This is none of your concern. This is my concern. I'm an American citizen, and it's a concern for all Americans that they get the best president possible. 
and that means Dr. Nom Noms. Please, Socks, don't pick anyone else. Dr. Nom Noms is the clear winner. Enough. I recognize this unimportant, faceless wretch. You used to be Dr. Nom Noms' campaign manager, correct? And here you are, trying to save his campaign at the last second. Pathetic. His campaign hasn't failed. You have failed. You have failed the entire country. Socks glared at me. I glared back at him, just imagining myself glaring at a cat. <laughs> Dr. Nom Noms tried pulling me aside, but I didn't budge an inch. <laughs> How? She's like, paw. <laughs> Very well. I hereby end the questioning of the third candidate, Dr. Nom Noms. Will all the candidates come forward? I still wish Kale win. would win. This is so... Awesome. I'm stoked to be here. I hope I win. I hope I win. Dr. Nom Noms didn't say anything. He just looked at me, sadness in his eyes. I have questioned all the candidates and reviewed the election results. It is now my duty to serve as arbiter and decide which of you becomes the official candidate. I want to pet all of you. Not you, Frisky. I mean, you're still cute as a cat, but you need to be neutered. I would like to pick Frisky as the winner. I lost? Nope. Wrong cat. Wrong voice. I lost? Dude, not cool. I won? Yes. Wait until I tell my secret girlfriend. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> no. No! You can't pick Frisky? What are you thinking? Get out of here. These, there are things you don't understand. It's impossible for me to pick Dr. Nom Noms as the candidate. Why not? Dr. Nom Noms deserves to win. This isn't about fairness or who deserves to win the most. It's about legalities, and it is illegal for me to choose Dr. Nom Noms. Why? Dr. Nom Noms started moving his tail rapidly back and forth. The rules say you can't choose someone who is a member of the opposing political party or someone who is ineligible to be president. Neither of those rules apply to me. There is another rule. Family members and empl- <gasps> Are you his dad?! Family members and employees of the Arbiter are ineligible for nomination. The rules designed to prevent cronyism and nepotism. But Dr. Nom Noms doesn't work for you. No, he doesn't. But Dr. Nom Noms... Is my son! Oh, snap! <laughs> what? What? I love these harps. <laughs> I spent the first four years of my life living in the alleyways. My mom tried her hardest to get us upgraded from street kids to house kids. She even took a second job and went on welfare, but it didn't work. Nothing did. Why not? I have nine brothers and sisters. It was a huge litter, and it was too much for one cat to carry. And my dad? He wasn't around. I never even met him. But you did! The father who abandoned Dr. Nom Noms and left the family of orphans? That was you? Yes. That was me. You ruined his life as a kitten, and now you're trying to ruin his life as a cat! You are horrible, Socks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That would happen, there would be a neutral party nominated if you liked. <laughs> Who wrote this? I don't know! <laughs> but I thank them profusely. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not proud of what I did, but I had to do it. If people knew I had kittens with an alley cat, I never would have risen to the position I hold today. A position where you sacrifice your son's life? Okay. Polit political career, not life, come on. Just to hold on to power? You're disgusting. 
No, Grey, don't say that. Sox may be awful, but he's still my father. But... <laughs> That's quick to forgive. All my life, I've dreamed of meeting my father, hearing his story, getting to know him, learning why, why he left us. I ran this scenario through my head a thousand times. Sometimes we would be friends, other times we would be enemies. But I never expected that my father would prevent me from becoming president of the United States of America. <laughs> That sentence alone deserves an award! <laughs> Never. Sucks. No. Dead. You're obviously too afraid to do the right thing here, so I feel... I forgive you for what you did. <laughs> I'm glad I finally learned the truth. But I honestly don't want to see you ever again. Not after this. <laughs> Wait, I'm not finished. <laughs> I said I would like to declare Frisky as the winner, but he's not. That would be you, son. Didn't you just say this is breaking a rule? Or wait, or are you gonna quit? I abstain from this decision due to a conflict of personal interest. Let the second in command decide who the candidate is. She's not related to any of the nominees. This took such a weird soap opera turn, and I didn't expect that. <laughs> the second in command isn't here. She got stuck in traffic. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Let Lincoln Pawy be the arbiter then. I don't care. <laughs> I totally agree. Dr. Nom Noms is way more qualified than I am. He should win. Why did you join the race then? <laughs> Sharpclaw nominee! Hooray for Dr. Nom Noms! Yay! I don't believe it! We won! We got the nomination! I, that, I don't understand. I was trying to lose. Because of him? Dr. Nom Noms, worry about it later. Smile for the cameras now. Give him like a second to process this. Right, right. Thank you everyone. I am honored to be chosen as next Sharpclaw candidate for the President of the United States. I promise to do everything in my power to win this election and defeat the fancy furball candidate, Fuzzy Dubby Rubs. <laughs> A swarm of reporters descended upon Dr. Nom Noms, and I got pushed to the side as they crowded around, asking questions. However, I wasn't the only person standing on the sidelines. Gray, that's your name, right? I want to talk to you. And I want to give you ear rubby. What about? How you tried to ruin your son's life? You're being ungrateful to the cat who stepped aside and let you win the nomination. If it wasn't for me, Frisky would be the winner right now. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been in this situation in the first place. You're a bad cat. Someone should spray you with a water bottle. Oh. In fact, I'd say it's a good thing that you abandoned Dr. Nom Noms as a kitten. It allowed him to grow up free from your influence. If you had been there, there's no way he would have grown up to be the good cat he is now. <laughs> you do well in the harsh word of politics, Gray. You're a real firecracker. I can see why my son is dating you. Whoa, no, I am not dating your son. <laughs> You will be soon, I guarantee- Is that like a threat? You are gonna date my son. <laughs> You're gonna date that cat. <laughs> uh, I don't care what you think or I don't need your permission to date Dr. Nom. I'm not I'm- I- Yeah, I don't care what you think. I'm not gonna date your cat. Ugh. <laughs> it's like the same thing. I don't care what you think, I don't need your permission to date Dr. Nom Noms. Whether I date him or not, it's none of your business. I'm not gonna date a cat! <laughs> Damn, sucks! <laughs> On the contrary, as the leader of the Sharp Claws, it is my business to ensure that nothing bad happens to our candidate. 
That includes potential assassinations and wanton lovers. <laughs> Those are two very different categories. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must have Dr. Nom Noms confused with Frisky, because Dr. Nom Noms would never take advantage of a woman like me. He's kind and decent, unlike you. You're passionate. You'll be a good mother to my grandkid. I'm not gonna date a cat! <laughs> <sighs> okay, seriously, I do not need you to pressure me into dating Dr. Nom Noms. In case you haven't noticed, I don't like you. Blah blah blah, whatever. Everyone says they hate me. I'm used to it. Hmph. Hey, what are you doing? Don't pull out your phone when I'm talking to you. Oh, I was just checking the results of a poll I put up earlier today. Oh, hey, what do you know? Five million people agree that they like you best when you're not talking. <laughs> okay, I get the hint. I'll leave you alone. But you should be grateful I'm not filing charges against you for disrupting the proceedings today. That is very much against the rules. Remember that, in case you're thinking of doing something else to anger me. Let's do some pol- I just love the let's do some politics sign. I ignored socks. I don't respond well to threats. Or to jerks. <laughs> it's the illusion of joy. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I wandered around through the convention for a while. Lizzie called to me, but I ignored her. Why? I didn't want to talk to her. The only person I wanted to talk to was Dr. Nom Noms, but he was surrounded by a report. Go talk to your friend! Why are you ignoring your friend? <laughs> I remembered the hurt look in his eyes when I interrupted the proceedings. What if... What if he was bad at me for what I did? I couldn't wait to find out. I had to know. That I do understand. If I feel like a friend of mine is, like, mad at me, I feel terrible until I, like, have a chance to talk to them. Unfortunately... Waiting was all I could do. Or you could talk to your friend Lizzie instead of ignoring her like a jerk face. We spend time with Lizzie and all the failed candidates. Kale! Those transitions are so sudden. I found a place that suited my mood. Every cat here was gloomy and sad. One cat was doing shots, or at least trying to. His tongue couldn't reach far enough to get to the alcohol at the bottom of his glass. I mean, that's probably for the best. I don't... I don't think cats would react well with alcohol. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Useless. Failure. What's your problem? I should have won. I should have won the nomination. Oh, yeah? I mean, I was on fire in the first debate. I interrupted all of my opponents and screamed the loudest four times. But when that didn't work, I tried saying as much as I possibly could. The person who talks the most wins the debate after all. Now I remember you. You're the cat who was kicked out. After the moderator threw the out of time bell at your forehead. Oh, don't throw things at cats. Yeah, the only state where I got more than 1% of the vote was my home state. I was hoping they'd pick me for the nomination today, but no luck. Didn't you drop out of the race, though? They could still pick a candidate who dropped out of the race. It's not impossible. When have they picked a candidate who isn't running for president anymore? N never. But there's a first time for everything. Now be useful and get me some more booze. No. <laughs> Think you've had enough? <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I should sober up. Getting drunk could hurt my chances of becoming Dr. Nom Nom's vice president. He already nominated a rabbit for his VP. I lost to a rabbit? <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Aww. I want to pet that cat. 
you obviously don't know how political processes work. They're trying to- yeah, they're trying to have me date a cat. <laughs> Interrupting others on the list. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ha, <laughs> huh. you think you have problems? I have- hey baby, how's it going? I was given the nomination by Socks, and then he took it away. <gasps> Kill! At least I can take comfort in the fact that no one will ridicule me for my failure, because literally no one knows who I am. I know who you are! Wait, were you one of the cats who ran for president? I thought you were a delivery boy or something. DJ Nibbles. Yes! Yes, I am. Meow. A delivery boy? What was it? I already- I do not remember his voice at all. <gasps> and get us some pizza and soda or something. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm one of the presidential candidates who lost. Don't you remember me from the debates? <laughs> you... Oh, are you the guy whose green room I trashed? I'm so sorry about that, dude. I was so jazzed up from the debate, and when I saw my new poll numbers, I just flipped. Aha! You're the maniac who scratched the curtains and ruined the couches. I had to pay to get them replaced. I'm sorry. I'll reimburse you. You'd better. The only thing that fell further than my approval rating is my bank account. I'm practically broke. I even had to sell my toupee to make my house payments. Right, I heard about that. It's sold online for huge amounts of money. What a waste. What a failure. Now I'm a laughingstock wherever I go. I swear I could strangle that Dr. Nom Noms. My mom watched the debate and kept asking why I wasn't there. Even she couldn't tell me from the rest. I'm upset too, bark bark. Mommy, help me. Don't hug me, I'm not your mommy. Whoa, you guys are a little too glum for me. I think I'll go somewhere else. Uh, look for Dr. Nom Noms or go home and cry. <laughs> Kale is cat Mark Malio. Um, I guess I'll look for Dr. Nom Noms cause he did seem upset. So I just like wanna do a check-in. Also, I'm pretty sure if I do go home and cry, it's gonna make me go look for Dr. Nom Noms anyway, because these choices don't matter! <laughs> I went to look for Dr. Nom Noms. Maybe he would be finished talking to the reporters. Gray! There you are! Oh, hey! Have you been listening at all? I've been trying to talk to you. Uh, sorry, Lizzie. I've been lost in thought. I know, I'm shocked too. Dr. Nom Nom's got the nomination. We're gonna win the White House. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but you know, we weren't supposed to win. We were supposed to lose. Who cares? Dr. Nom Nom's deserves to... It still matters. If Dr. Nom Nom's doesn't want to be president, he, he gets to choose not to do this. Ugh. Oh, that's right, you don't know. Know what? The reason Dr. Nom Noms has been trying to lose the campaign? It's because Sox threatened him. Really? That's- uh, wait, what? Sox was threatening Dr. Nom Noms to drop the campaign? Even though he's secretly Dr. Nom Noms' father? More like, because he's secretly Dr. Nom Noms' father. Well, this is way too complicated for me. But, hey, everything is all better now. What do you mean? Well... If Socks was the reason Dr. Nom Noms wanted to drop out, then it's all resolved. You took care of the Socks problem. Now there's no reason for Dr. Nom Noms to quit. He's gonna be inspired and move forward to the presidency. More importantly, he's gonna be super grateful to you. Is he? Either that, or he'll be super angry with me. I just ruined all his plans. Oh. Uh, I guess that's true. I ruined his life. 
and not for the first time. It's almost like I hate him. No, it's like you love- No! <laughs> That's why you interrupted the proceedings today, isn't it? You couldn't stand to see him fail. You knew that it was wrong for him to lose. No! <laughs> yes, I knew it was wrong, but that doesn't mean I love him. I think it does. It doesn't! It doesn't! You came all the way to the National Convention just to be with him or to support my friend. <laughs> Please tell me you don't know who Martin O'Malley is. That would make this even more hilarious. I actually don't. <laughs> I don't know who that is. The name kind of rings a bell, maybe? Maybe I do? But... It, it maybe it possibly rings a very very distant bell in my brain. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I maybe you're right. Maybe I do have feelings for. I don't. I don't have feelings for the cat. He's so wonderful, and he clearly cares about me, even after all this time. Does he? I say you go for it. Tell him how you feel. The worst that can happen is that he doesn't feel the same way, and you go back home to your old life. No biggie. It's not like you turned yourself into a cat for this guy or anything. Ah ha 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 ha! Oh, Lizzie, you destroyed your life. I'm sorry, I must sound so insensitive talking about how much I like Dr. Nom Noms when he rejected you. It's okay, that was two months ago. I've gotten over it by now. It's just, I miss being human. Maybe someday you'll find a nice cat to settle down with. Maybe. I've been so focused on my career lately, what with the presidential campaign and everything. I could really use a new assistant. Would you like the job? Dr. Nom Nom's already fired me. I'm sure he'll hire you back. What do you say? I, uh, sure, I guess. I have nothing else going on in my life right now. Perfect! Let's go celebrate. No. I'm not leaving here until I talk to Dr. Nom Noms. I don't care how long it takes. I'm sure it won't be too much longer. Do you want me to wait with you? Yeah! Let's, let's catch up. I could use the moral support. Or just like catch up with your friend who you haven't really seen. Then I'll be here for you. Just, I don't think I need you around when Dr. Nom Noms comes. This is something I have to do myself alone. I understand. I'll leave you alone. But later you better tell me what happened. I'm not confessing. Feelings I don't have. <laughs> Lizzie and I chatted for a bit before she left. I didn't have much longer to wait. It was only three minutes before Dr. Nom Noms came. I saw him long before he saw me. He looked... I guess you could say he looked determined. When he noticed me, a surprise expression crossed his face. He scurried over as quickly as he could. Gray? Yes, it's me. I've got something to say to you. Based on your responses throughout this game, you unlocked... Friendship? Normal ending. Oh! I- I- I beat it. Uh... <laughs> it's all here. 2016 Democratic candidate. Hardly anybody knew who he was. They still do memes of how I know he was in the primary. Oh no! <laughs> oh, maybe that's where I heard the name before. Cause I I watched some like political joke stuff. <laughs> oh, kind of feel bad. Um, not that bad, but kind of bad. Thank you. You're not mad at me? Oh, I'm mad at you, all right. But I'm also grateful. You helped expose some of the corruption in the political system, and you reunited me with my father. Not for very long, though. I imagine he'll be arrested. <laughs> what is this game? Arrested? Well, he did break the law. Kind of. He secretly met with a candidate and coerced them into quitting the race. That's definitely against the official sharp clock handbook. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault my father is a career criminal. 
<laughs> and now that I finally know who my father is, it's a real weight off my chest. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, but <laughs> about the nomination. <laughs> yeah, it built it. I know you wanted to lose, but I couldn't help myself. I just... I couldn't stand to see you lose. I had to intervene. Why? Because you do deserve to be president. Maybe you don't want to be president, but you are the cat this country needs. You are loyal. You're honest. <laughs> you is smart. You is kind. <laughs> I've only known you a short time, but I've grown to love you. In a completely platonic way. And that's why I want you to be president, so that everyone can love you just as much as I love you entirely platonically. All that love will transform our country and make us a better nation than we've a better na nation than we've ever been. Well, I had no idea you felt that way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overwhelm you. I know it's been an emotional day. <laughs> no, I'm glad. I enjoy your honesty. It is one of the things I like about you. It's just, well, you love me that much? I, don't read into it. Maybe I went too far. <laughs> I'm sorry. You keep apologizing, but you don't have to. You can't help the way you feel. And to tell you the truth, I love you too. Platonically. Platonically. Please. Really? Maybe not in a romantic way, but as a friend? Definitely. When I fired you, it made me really sad. Lizzie can tell you. I moped for days about it. I don't like hurting people in general, but hurting you? That was especially difficult. If we became a couple- No! No! I think there's potential. I think our love can grow. So you want to be a couple? Please, God, no. I want to try, at least. I really, really want to try. But I don't want to let an amazing woman like you slip through my paws. No. This is wrong. I can't start the relationship with you. I want to get to the reject button. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because I'm a failure of a kid. I won the election by accident, and if I dated you, it would force you into the spotlight and turn your whole life upside down. It's not fair to you. I shouldn't have said anything. You're right. It is not fair to me, so I'm just gonna back out of this situation. <laughs> oh, you're not getting away that easily, doctor. Escape Dr. Nom Nom's up in my arms and gave him a big hug. Isn't he the greatest cat ever? No! I don't want to go on a date with a freaking cat. Uh, take things slow, so we moved at his pace. I was okay with that, to be honest. No real rush to true. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Presidential campaign continued after that, of course. There were debates with the fancy furball candidate. There were nationwide tours and speeches. Loads and loads of speeches. I was by Dr. Nom Nom's side the entire time. S is an entirely platonic campaign manager employee. After every speech, he would turn to me and say the exact same thing. No! Not even reading it. No. No. <laughs> Dr. Nom Noms wasn't trying to lose the election anymore. As for me, I didn't care if he won or lost. As long as he was my cat, I knew that I was the real winner. <laughs> Is this a nonfiction game? <laughs> when did this all happen? <laughs> Pops, have you not been paying attention to the news? How, did I, I don't know how you missed all of this. It was making major headlines. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to date a cat. I unlocked the mature one. I'm making sure that the lyrics aren't weird. <laughs> um, I <laughs> like. I really just props to whoever played the person who just went meow. 
Oh. Uh, huge props to all of his team, but also how dare you make me date a cat when I don't want to. I just don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it as very much just, it's just my cat. I just really like my cat in a completely normal, normal way. <laughs> Seems I was under a huge rock. Is that y'all's kittens? Oh god! <laughs> I didn't even think about that! Oh god! Oh, they probably are! <laughs> oh god, oh god. Wait, Cirque du Soleil? What? Oh, are these just like photos that they use? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, that was Cat President, everyone. I hope. I don't know what I hope. I hope you were entertained. I hope you weren't scarred for life. <laughs> Definitely uh, didn't think it was going to be like that. <laughs> uh, oh, God. It was at least, like, it was well written. Uh, Luna, Luna's still mad about the cat ears. Oh, is that the dog? They actually put cat ears on a dog. That's funny. I really like that. Oh, cool. I'm just in time for the end of the stream. Oh, no! Hey, Hi. Everybody. Um, I'm not too tired. It's 1 a.m. where I am. But I can maybe play another game. I'm not replaying this game, T8. I love you so much. But this game went so many weird places. <laughs> date a cat. I don't want to date a cat. As a human, a human had to date one. Quick question. What the hell is <laughs> So it's a game where there are like six different cats uh, that are running to become the presidential like nominee and you have to become one of their campaign managers but then you also end up dating whichever cat that you choose. <laughs> like I tried not to date the cat because that's weird. Um, and then I ended up dating the cat. It's really weird. It's really, really weird. But it's on sale on Steam right now. So if you're into this, get it? I don't know. <laughs> it was a crime. I'm slightly annoyed it's called, not called cat president. They did make the per resident pun a lot of times. Or like the, uh, there was like per reest and there are a lot of cat puns in this game. Oh, like so many cat puns. Kimo <laughs> someday with the soul intent make this game. <laughs> Is that, okay, Hatofu boyfriend. So you're a human trying to date pigeons? Cause I thought about date, uh, dating that game. I thought about dating that game. I was kind of wondering if I thought I was cute. <laughs> uh, I thought about that game as well. But that struck me, for some reason that struck me as weird. And this struck me as, oh, this will be more normal. I feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> and this was definitely the weirder option. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I mean, how much is it on Steam? Is it on Steam? Is it a Steam game? Let me, let me check. Uh, store, store. Huh. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh, the, I, I'm on my wish list. That's not gonna work. How do I, okay. 
Oh, it's only two dollars. <sighs> oh, it's one dollar right now. No, that's the up upgrade. Wait. Yeah, it's two dollars for the game. Oh my god, there's a holiday themed sequel. I haven't. Ooh. Should I play it? Should I do? Should I start it right now? I put it in my cart. I'm go I'm go I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Uh, it still has my taxes set to Ohio. I need to update that. I don't live in Ohio anymore. Oh god! Oh god! It's installing. <laughs> I earned steam points. Oh lordy, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's downloaded! <laughs> You'll get that later, as long as it's not a crime game like this one, because your heart is back in Ohio. <laughs> yes. Ooh. I will look into the complete pack. I want to play it first to see how invested. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Let's let's exit cat president and launch Oh god. Launch this and see. Oh, this is a Devolver Digital? I didn't know that. There's a sequel? Yes! But it's also way more expensive, so I did not buy it. Because I think that's more like $8. This game is already great. Oh, I don't use it that much. I do not. This is also very, very loud, at least on my end. Uh... Oh god. There we go. That's less blaring to me. Volume's good on your guys' end? <laughs> Is this better? I turned it down a bit, but I can I can also turn it down lower. It's okay to- okay, good. <sighs> Let's date some pigeons! <laughs> oh god, St. Pidge Nationals Institute. Welcome to St. Pidge Nationals! Please enter your name! Uh... Gray! Oh god! Oh, I didn't know that there was a last name! What should my last name be? Since I put Grey as my first name. Uh... Chat picks my last name. Grey Grayer! <laughs> Grey Grayer. That's delicious. I love that. <laughs> Is Grey Grayer okay? Um, yes. <laughs> Great. Oh, no. Uh, Grayer got in first. The Gray Grayer. <laughs> Hatoful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Okay. Display human portraits. Oh god, do I- do I display the human portraits or no? Which one will make it more disturbing? Less disturbing? Yes? Do it? Okay. Configurations saved. I'm already upset. <laughs> I'm 
it's anything like the last game, I'm already upset. St. Pigeon Ash uh, Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. The school's Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! <laughs> Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Gray. Overslept? <laughs> this rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. So like, so they're just fully birds, right? So this human portrait is like, oh, if he was a human, this is what he would look like? And so it's like supposed to represent... I'm confused. <laughs> he can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Also, his human eye color and bird eye color are different. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Are you catching your own food? Childhood friend! Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. I actually had my childhood best friend had that same doorbell. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill that fills my heart as I look around the assembled birds. I hope we get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every birdie. Jesus. <laughs> Er, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. Z Sir, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> it's homeroom. <laughs> he sleeps with his eyes open. Oh! This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously sporadic math professor. <laughs> I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me. We have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. <laughs> What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do you not think I'm here because I wish to be? Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Cool. I know how to read words. Oh, well, I guess that's that. 
Hey, hey, hey! That's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse, and we'll all in turn into clocks and dissenters? Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Dots. Shirogane le bel sakuya. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it seemed this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Ugh. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. Best friends. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. <laughs> no, he seems super friendly. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Is it seriously going to say that, like, every time? <laughs> huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. That's not creepy. <laughs> morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <laughs> he looked away. Oh, are we gonna do, like, creepy, quiet stalker kid, but, like, oh, it's actually just shy and timid? Not, not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I, I, I don't I don't want anything with you. It, it's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They were uh, a little too dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Dots. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm gray or gray. <laughs> oh my god. They only wrote so many bird puns and are going to put as many miles on them as they possibly can. Yeah. Ugh, oh, I'm a sophomore. What about you? Dots. Y your Dots. Nugget. Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. <laughs> Timid! Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. He's reading his book again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> oh, woof. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should- <laughs> You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya! What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother, after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. I'm gonna forget everyone's voices. Constantly. Just to let you know. So they'll just be changing the entire time. Hey! Wait just to... Fl flutter away, I assume. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. Is there family drama? 
I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. <laughs> the ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? <laughs> I'm sorry, whoa, that whole thing just went. I, I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but uh that there wasn't too cool. <laughs> Fantail Pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. Oof. You're... You're gray, right? How, how did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. <laughs> a single poppy in a field of rye. I feel so complimented. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Wow! That might be how you feel, but you don't just like unload that on a, that person's family member that you also don't really know. Aristocrat wannabe? <laughs> he is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Yes, que tu français? He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going. I are. <laughs> I don't remember the voice. <laughs> it's been like ten minutes, and I'm just like, what are any of the voices? Uh, he he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary, just to make sure he's okay. What's- there's like a ch chicken medicine and then a skull. <laughs> Excuse me. Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. They are really riding that pawn. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota. I'm perfectly healthy. Pfft, must be nice. Whoa, that's not how you spell whoa. They've all got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, trifelucibenzene. What do these even do? Care, care to find out? Oh, I like that bird. D -d 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 Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? That's that's a line. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're like creepy. This partridge is I Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Oof. Oof. 
Pun broke down, but they're still putting mileage on it. Going down. <laughs> yes! Do, do. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus? Sciaticus? Or even worse things. Ooh, I don't know medical stuff. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? So he's creepy. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh! Why didn't he come find me before going home? <laughs> Sorry to bother you! I'll be going now. <laughs> Run. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at <laughs> some of my options. Cheery music. <laughs> I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. How does bird watching work at a school full of birds? Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. <laughs> oh. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. I white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Okosan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Aww, but pudding's so good. Yeah, that's not very nice to the pudding. Don't waste pudding. I want pudding. <laughs> He's just a bird. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think? <laughs> Either way, he's hyper. Koo! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! <laughs> betrayal? <laughs> Koo! Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. I don't know why I'm doing such a caveman thing. <laughs> but this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. That's dramatic. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. <laughs> Jesus writes, it's so cold outside. Oh no. Oko-san must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. What is true pudding? And he's gone. <laughs> he's a good runner, but <laughs> what does pudding have to do with the track team? That is a good question. Whoop. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Oof. Why are you so stuck? Water? Uh, I... Well, I think we want to choose the class council today. Uh, as you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. This is a sleepy teacher, right? If you want to, you, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Oko-san has time only for the track team. That- that's good. Uh, what about you, Shirogane? 
A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. How does that work? Nepotism, ho! Don't we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Ah, that works better. Join the... <gasps> student council, track team, or library staff. Which should I join? Chat picks. Student council? Let's do student council! That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! I'm trying to yawn through his lines, but it's making me actually yawn. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Ooh, math class, gym class, or music class? Shot picks again. Rule them all. <laughs> what class should I go to? I have a lot of vitality, so I feel like I don't super need gym, but if that's what you want, I'll still do it. Math class! Let's do numbers! Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Yay! Great levels up! Wisdom increased by five! Oh, neat. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakuya and me. Anyway, he calls a meeting, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO. This this looks like a CEO's office. This is a very nice office for a school. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? Hi, Sakuya. So you had this done? <laughs> this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. Have you decided which position you will take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you? Dumb Japanese? Wow! Not cool. Aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me. <gasps> je suis Française! No, je suis Français parce que c'est un, un homme. A French noble bird? That sounds delicious. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... <gasps> what should I be? <laughs> I do, I feel smarter already. I liked math. I'm not good at math, but I do, I like simple math. I liked algebra, I remember that. Je parle français un petit peu, mais je n'ai pas curément. Um, I, yeah, I speak very, very little French. Um, I would love to be fluent though. Uh, cause I'm, I'm from there, and half of my family is there, and they don't speak English. Uh, and I would love to be able to actually talk to them. It would be very cool. Should I be vice president, treasurer, or clerk? I am! Yes! Um, I... But I grew up here. Uh, we moved here when I was two. So, which is why my French is non-existent. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a dual citizen. Um, because I was born over there, but my mom's American, so... Dual vice vice president. And so, <laughs> I don't know if I want to commit murder. I'm not ruling it out though. You wish to be my right wing? Ha <laughs> ha! You've got nerve. 
I like that. I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. And so I became vice president of the student council. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Where do you live? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Do I live in a cave? Today is the hike! We've stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... <gasps> oh gosh! Who do I talk to? My childhood friend? The council president? The... San or the teacher? Which one was San? Oh, was Sa- Oh god, which one was Sa? How's your right wing? <laughs> you live in a cave! Congrats, you literally live under a rock. I pick? I'll pick- I'm gonna pick Sa just because I don't remember which one that was! <laughs> oh... I wonder where Oko-san went- Oh, that's the- that's the- yes, okay. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. <laughs> it's not here! The pudding is not here! <laughs> ah. It's missing? <laughs> Did you bring it to eat for lunch? No. Oko-san believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Oku-san will now search elsewhere for the pudding. I love like the jet sounds. <laughs> and he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? <laughs> okay, yeah, San is my favorite character. That he oh god, that's a delight. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend... Math, gym, or music. Ooh. I'm tired of sitting hard, I miss bed. Thank you so much for joining! Have a wonderful night! Get good sleep, stay warm, stay cozy. Yee. Uh, and let me know if you're streaming... When you're streaming next. Cooking, Final Fantasy, whatever. Uh, whatever you're doing. Um, and if chat doesn't have a preference, I, I'm leaning towards music class because they haven't done it yet. Um, but if people have other options, I would do that. We're streaming tomorrow for Raid Night on FF14. Ooh, okay. I will try to catch some of that. Um, neat. Thank you so much for coming. Bye. Music. It didn't want me to go to music. Ha! Today is a music history lesson! So much thinking outside the box. It's been a great run, everyone. Good goodbye. <laughs> oh god. I feel like I'm gonna fly off the poncho, but this is what most tart is all of. Most tart? Mustard is all about, I guess. Oh. <laughs> uh, I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigans on their heads. Do you seek to mock the great masters, lowborn Philistine? I think it's Philistine, but a song I listen to that uses it in its lyrics is Philistine. I'm pretty sure it's Philistine. Gray leveled up! Charisma increased by five! I'm so charismatic. <laughs> uh, I, I, I imagine you're all well aware, but um... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? 
If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Oko-san will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. <laughs> you do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well, I'll leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use, uh, help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race. Oko-san's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Ooh. Oh! I also have a choice of going to the library for that little, uh, oh gosh, An uh, anthropic character, right? Anthropic person who hates people, I think. I'm like reaching in the back of my mind for high school vocabulary terms. Uh, any thoughts? Any thoughts? I'm just, because I haven't played this game before, um, so it's more so if you guys have particular things you want me to do. If you don't want me to ask you so much, uh, I won't. So whatever y'all want. <laughs> you forgot? Where's T8? T8 should be around to assist. The, the eat thing. What? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The eat thing. Um, the eat, what? <laughs> uh, oh, or is this a reference? Uh... Try to find T8's number in my phone to pester him. Uh. I just texted T8 to see. It was also 1.30 in the morning, so he may have gone to bed? Maybe? I don't know your kids' schedules. Maybe he's still living it up. <laughs> He can't hear it over his rave music that he's blasting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? It's what TA does all night, every night. You can't stop him. <laughs> There's still water in there. I want it. There we go. This is good music. know what I would choose. Um, Son is really funny. I feel like Library Kid, though, is not really seen. Or Yuya is also not really seen. Ah, T8! Right? Where's T8? T8, you... you... butt? <laughs> I'm really digging the soundtrack. This is good. This is good stuff. <gasps> I 
Pardon me, I'm looking at my phone. I'm just like, he hasn't texted me back yet. Like, it's been two minutes. But he hasn't texted me back yet. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I don't know where he is. Is he on Discord? Is he on Facebook? If I go on my Facebook, am I gonna show you guys my personal Facebook? I don't think so. I don't think it's set to do that. Okay, my choice? Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, wait, he's he says he's online on Facebook. Help. Uh. Okay, give him like 30 more seconds since I just messaged him on here. It says he's active. I wonder if he's in a game though. If he gave up. How dare. Oh God. Oh, I need to adjust. <laughs> okay, he's not reading it. Ha! All right. Um. <laughs> Chair. Chair. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I wanted to check out a like hang out with a person that I don't really see much. I feel like library kid. I have to just go to the library. So. Yeah, I guess I'll- I'm, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go check out the library. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, much better. Also, that fits me. I would much rather be in a library than, like, be sweaty. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? Nobody's in here today. It-, it it's not on. <gasps> It's you, Nagaki. It's it's you, Miss Grayer. Whoa, he called me by my name. They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you gonna participate in the festival, Nagaki? Aren't you? Eep. I don't like it outside, so I stay in here. That's all. Hmm. I see. That's, that's, that's. Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? No, not really. Uh, listen. <laughs> Our class president got duped into becoming a cheerleader, and... Sorry. <laughs> no. Keep going. And so I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know much how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. I don't miss those. <laughs> We're getting them back today. Ah, I don't think I did too well. Grayer? Yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day, you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seemed happy with me too. Yay! This game... Yeah. <laughs> it's been interesting. It hasn't gotten too, too weird yet. But... <laughs> With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? <laughs> Salutations, Gray. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. Okay, Pulitzer, Pulitzer. I've heard it both ways. I don't know which is right. I think it's supposed to be Pulitzer? 
but that sounds wrong to my ears. Ah. Uh. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned a kid. <laughs> Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. Are there, is that all supposed... Which one's Brian? Is that one Brian? He, he was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Gray. Bye, bird. Mmm, <laughs> today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Oh! Store, infirmary, or cafeteria. Does chat have choices? I don't think I ever went to a school that like had a store. Well, I got a college. Did we have stores? I don't think we had stores. That seems like an interesting... I guess it makes sense. Like if you forgot a pencil or something. You wouldn't like choice. <laughs> um, I appreciate your honesty, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll also, I'll click whatever. The world is your oyster. <laughs> oh! TA, you're back! Sorry, I missed you! Okay, go to the cafeteria. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half to fried rice, please. Ah! Yum, my favorite. No, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. <laughs> A familiar voice indeed. This is not pudding. I know. You said. So come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What is going on? Not that I can tell by- Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding over there and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but- Ow! Cut it out, Uncle san Release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. <laughs> Help me. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Leave it. Leave it to me or let him go? Those seem like the same options, right? No? Or is it like, let him deal with it? I mean, I wanna help. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it, leave it to me. Leave it to me, Ryota. My hunter gatherer blood boils, ah. Oh, don't like hurt him. No, the beast queen shows her true colors. Pull out, pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Oko-san rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Ah, safe at last. Thanks, Greg. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. Apparently, that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. 
Also, T8, I love you, and I apologize for harassing you on, like, seven different mediums. <laughs> I hope your laundry went well. Uh, today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? <gasps> which... Which class should I go to? I'm still low on wisdom and charisma in comparison to vitality, so I feel like more math and music. But I also technically haven't gone to a gym class. Uh, it's fine, I was just like, <laughs> Yes! I was just wondering, um, yeah, we were looking for your input on things to pick. Do you have a, do you have a choice of what class I should attend? How long this is. I wonder if I can do the whole thing in, in this one go. <laughs> Wait, how did I gain so much more wisdom? Wasn't it like six? I got ten? Meow. Does chat not have choice? Chat doesn't uh, have opinion. Oh, I meant to show this during the the cat game, um, and I completely forgot. I don't know if it'll show here, but I have a cat pin that I really really love. Um, is this gonna- is this gonna show? It might be too shiny. But he's a little cowboy! And it's so stupid, and I love it so dang much! It's so good. It's so good. I love it. I love that cat. <laughs> Meowdy! Yes! Arr! It's the best. Twinkie! <laughs> It's so good. Ah, I love my little cowboy cat. I saw that and immediately I was like, I need this in my life. I don't, I don't care about the price. I don't, I, I just, I just need it. <laughs> no, I just keep it on my desk. It's, it's, it's so cute. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know, uh, Want me to choose a particular class, or should I do whichever? <gasps> oh, my sticker's getting messy. I also put a sticker on my mouse because I wanted to, and it's a, a cute little otter, but it's also starting to get dirty. Maybe I should put something protective. Jim, don't skip leg day. <sighs> Every day is leg day. <sighs> Today is calisthenics. Ryuta, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin-up? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Ugh. In elementary school I could do chin-ups. Not anymore. <laughs> I don't- I don't have that. I'm a noodle. Gray leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Why is my vitality so high? Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, uh, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Ooh. <gasps> wow, there are lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Aww. Yeah. Impossible n'est <laughs> pas français. Uh, um, okay. You're just messy. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time. Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember. <laughs> what should I wish for? Ooh. <laughs> 
I like how two of these are so sinister and then the last one's just like, art! <laughs> um, I don't wanna... I... I... Art? Art's like the not evil one. Do, do I go with art? Do I go with being more evil? And if I'm evil, am I sneaky evil or brute force evil? Oh, Follow my heart. My heart says artist. Because that seems like the nice... Watch, this is like the most evil of them all. And I end up murdering everyone. <laughs> I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello! Is that you, Grayer? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It could be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Oh my god, should I feel threatened? I mean, it's my teacher. I haven't gotten threatening vibes yet. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> if I say yes, what happens? <laughs> oh god, truly nothing is as evil as someone that contributes meaningful art <laughs> to the world. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Nefarious. Nefarious am I. <laughs> um, I want to believe, like, he, it's fine and it's just a teacher looking out for a student, so I'll accept. Yes, please. All right. Just don't be weird. Please don't be weird. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very, uh, rustic, Grayer. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Are you homeless? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Uh, sir? See you tomorrow! Don't forget your homework. And so he left, somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Oh, or was it just my imagination? Is my teacher homeless? Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Ooh, master and music. Oh, maybe that's why I'm... No? Yes? No? Hmm. Okay. I think I'll just do them in rotation, right? Math, music, gym. That seems... That seems easy. Let's do... Let's crunch some numbers. Math. <laughs> Nerds. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hard to say. It might never help you at all, Grayer. But only studying things that help you in life is really tiresome. Oh, think of it as educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. Gray leveled up! Wisdom increased by five. I get them smarts. I do math good. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I sure I did too well. Grayer? Sir? Well then, you got an even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Yay. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. 
Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window. Hold on. Are you telling me to do all this by myself? Who else is there? You bonehead. Maybe I should stand up to him? I think he should help. You help too. Sakuya, I'm the vice president, not the ch charwoman. Is that so? My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up? That's why I'm giving you orders. No, jeez, stop. Here's a mop. Work. I what? You know how to use it, right? Let's get started. Don't tell me you've never... Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. And so Sakuya reluctantly helps me clean. I thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Ugh, running. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I'm concerned. <laughs> ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Tone family now. Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! Me? Mm -hmm. This is a bird! <laughs> I don't know you! Where'd you come from? Sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. This is such dramatic music. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute! I feel strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. Yeah, this track is good. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah! I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit. I think. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, may I ask your name? Kojiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. Yep. Aw. I like that song. Ooh, I like this B uh, background. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone... You'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my cre cre credo, 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 word. 
Isn't riding tandem against the law, too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. So we putted along Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> it's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. I never had that. I never had homework over the summer. I had friends who did, but I didn't, and I'm very grateful for that, because that seems like it would suck. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance? Owl? I'll get a job. Yeah. Gives me something to do. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? <laughs> I like the little birds. It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry. I was just here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Oh, I just realized I didn't change the uh, category of this stream. I need to update that. Um, I did a calculus course on my own one summer. It was dumb. Oh, interesting. Um, I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've definitely done, like, s things over... Like, I I've done online classes during break- during our- our, um, uh, Christmas break that we would get because it was so dang long. Uh, I would do, like, online classes during that time. Uh. Apologies, apologies. Okay. That should have updated to have the right game. Okay, good. Perfect. I forgot to do that. Um, doo -doo -doo. I, I never took calculus. There are a lot of like basic or like common classes that I just like never did. Um, though I also probably would have failed. <laughs> All the students at school are young and hyper and the most dignified birds there are teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, whatever. I am called Urushihara Kenzaburo. Kenzaburo. Nihongo. <laughs> I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Gray or Gray. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Gray. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I do have opposable thumbs. I mean, I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Gray. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here, in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Gray. <laughs> Bring. <laughs> Updated. <laughs> I like that you, the colors. Today is my first day working at Mr. Urush Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Yeah. If you're on time, you're late. Good morning, Miss Gray. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now. It's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. 
actually, compared to my house... I excuse me? Um, I saw the flyer at the station. Aw, Ryuta! Gray, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Gray? Oh, yes, this is Ryuta. Oh, he's gonna need the money way more than me. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then, then that's that. Uh, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Mm, sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Give the job, t yeah. He needs it more. Mr. Urushihara, do you think you could take Ryuta instead of me? Gray? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryuta does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Gray? It's not really fair to you. Or really fair to the person who employed me, because that's more his decision. <laughs> I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... Ryuta works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Ugh. Ugh. Mr. Urushihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryuta deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ruta. I thanks. Well then, our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Gray. I will. Thank you, Mr. Urushihara. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. <gasps> Who do I invite? I feel I have I have a default. If chat has a choice. Feel free, and I'll go with what chat says. Um, but if not, I, I have a backup in mind. Mainly just Ryuta, because I feel, I feel for the kid who seems to be suffering a lot. <laughs> I think Pops has started TF2. <laughs> I got a little steam alert. <laughs> um. <laughs> you better be winning. You better be winning that match. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Yeah, I know, TF2 is fun. I haven't I haven't played it in weeks now. I miss it. Ryuta. Yeah, okay. Thanks for inviting me, Greg. Come on, let's go. So many booths. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Greg. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. <laughs> Yakitori sounds good right about now. <gasps> and so I spend a happy evening with Ryuta. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. I don't think I've had Yakitori. That's the octopus balls, right? Ah, uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Grayer. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, oh, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Grayer? Huh? What's the number in the top left corner say? Oh, you're just a little bit early. Ah, uh, oh, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Grayer? Ooh, I've tried to do that, like, lift the soft palette thing for the sleepy bird, but, ooh. Lend you a hand? Hi, 
Rick's about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought, maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... Ooh. Return to... Um... I feel like I'm inclined to help the my teacher. Yeah. Just checking to make sure that yeah 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 I'll, I'll help the teacher you will thank you I'll go make us some tea and so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady this tea is very good it has mango in it I do like sweet tea Good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Oko-san is always having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir. Focus! <laughs> Second term! <laughs> how many terms is this? I know how long this is. I'm still pretty awake. I can keep going. I'd like, I'd like to do it in one sit through, but I don't know if it's like 10 terms. Well, no. I'd be a soft. I was a sophomore. So this is first term of my junior year? Do I go to graduation? Hmm. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir? Mm. Sir? Oh! Hello, Gray! Did you... Forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh? Thank you, Gray. I could take care of that. Huh? What's it? Nothing. Just... You did find this today, right, Grayer? Yes. In the corridor just outside. The student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then... Was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Grayer. Wait, a kid just, like, disappeared? Is this gonna be, like, a, a freaking Doki Doki Literature Club where all of a sudden things go insane? <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Uh I'll check. <laughs> I feel like music class because I'm lowest. Around uh hour thirty minutes average. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I should be able to do this then in one in one go. Uh, I'm thinking music. Does chat have a preference? I don't mean to interrupt if you're shooting. I'll, I'll do, I'll do music. Yeah. Oh, math, math. I'll do math. Okay. Let's do numbers. I had hoped... I had hoped for something a little more interesting from an elective, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So, this is all easy for you, Sakuya? Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? <laughs> he looks happy, though. <laughs> happy little bird. Gray leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. 
I wonder if do I do better on tests then? Good. Mo what the heck is going on? <laughs> the classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? <gasps> pillow fight. Pillow fight. Yota? What? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday. It's molting season, so... Well, one little breeze and it looks like this unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Ryota's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone! Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Oko-san. Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swapped the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we could make a nice pillow. It's certainly more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? huh? Sir, did you spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. But, um, you really smell like it. Oh! That would be the bleach. Bleach? S sir? Are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, no! I, I doze off. It got stuck in the washing machine last night. That's all. That's dangerous. <laughs> sir, please be careful. Yeah, well. I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. This is a good track too. So many things to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, Grayer. Mr. Nanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Could you maybe help at the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than we expected. Of course. I shall met out information and direct and directions like an oni of old. Cleaver in hand, seated atop a throne wrought from the skulls of my foes. What? <laughs> Thank you. I'll go get a chair. Okay. Oh, it looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> I'm still a little tired. <laughs> At least he held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. Poor Mr. Nanaki. Ag! I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamine. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers. Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on the students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but... It would seem I have overestimated you. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, couldn't help then. Ow! <laughs> Side with one of them? I don't know the situation. I'm making a choice based on nothing. Oh god. Easy pick? S -s -ch -sleep sleepy dude? Okay. Kazuaki. Tells dude sleeps. <laughs> he does. He does indeed. Okay. Kaz Kaz Kazuaki? That's not very nice, doctor. What do you want? Oh, rare. What is it? Um, sir? I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. I don't know how I mixed those two up, but apparently I did. So you did? Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. <laughs> Oh, God, do I have a hair? Okay, I think I got it. It's like a hair poking my eye. <laughs> ah, today was good. The true, real life. I think I'll go home and spend some time fulfill- Spend some fulfilling time for going to bed. What's with the- Lifetime. Lifetime? Am I making a Lifetime movie of this? Gray! Hi, Ryota. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes, but why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch up to him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go, go home. So I was wondering if maybe you could? Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you. Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Is he always as spacey as he is at school? Probably spends 97 question question of his time at home asleep. Hmm? A piece of paper fell out of his phone case. He's actually a secret spy. What's this? <gasps> it's a photo. A photo of a bird. But I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Dramatic. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it? I mean, yeah. It's not your business. Sir? Oh, hello, Greer. Where are you going? You look like you. <laughs> Sir, you forgot your cell phone. So I did! Thanks for coming after me with it, Grayer. That was very nice of you. No problem at all, sir. Uh, hmm? was there something else? What should I do? I should pretend I didn't see it. It's not my business. Yeah, I, it's nothing, sir. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. He couldn't have done that. He's too nice. Too innocent. There wasn't a photo in that case. There wasn't. It wasn't there. I mean, it could be there. You don't know the story behind it. Just because you have a scribbled photo doesn't mean you're a terrible person. What? It seems like a stretch. Uh, it's that time of year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. <laughs> That's dramatic. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Huh? Where's my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during break, so... I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there? Is he a mad scientist? The door is open. Good. There it is. Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's head home. I did not expect that. Ah! I bumped into... 
Oh, do doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No. Uh, what is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone. After school. In the lab. What were you doing? Uh, I, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Eh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What, what are you... Am I about to be murdered? Jeez, what is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Grayer? Uh, yeah! What is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones on the desk. Isn't this the prep room right here? They're somewhat heavy for me, but I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? N no, sir. Just please don't murder me. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. I just feel like I'm straight up going to be murdered. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. <gasps> Wait. Oh, frickin' I'm locked in? Doctor? Doctor, let me out. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me out. Brute, villain, fluffy heretic. No reply. The building's gonna be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Eh, somebody help me. The doctor locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to, unless... He thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be a way of shutting me up, or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair. This evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? Oh god, footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't. Huh? What are you doing in here, Grayer? School's closed already. Mr. Nanaki! I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging on the door, Grayer? That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. Depends on who you ask. I don't think anyone from my D&D campaign's in here right now, but... Sometimes doors exist for punching. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. I'm alive. Sir, I... There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come in of my own accord. The, the doctor. That's right. I asked her to. <laughs> you did? Indeed. I am truly sorry. But are you? But are you? I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something, and I locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you, Clive Waring? Is it that? Well then. This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. It would be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Grayer. It gets dark so quickly. You are both up to something. But you're protecting me, so... That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget the printout from earlier today.
dots. Gray hair is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though, she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. Doctor? Yes? How is a little sloppy? You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. They are up to something! Ah! That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone. And you remembered to come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, Professor. What are you two up to? Oh my god. Bird. <laughs> Oops, too many words. I love this. <laughs> we get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Rare? Sir? You're in top of the year this time. Well done! Oh, sweet. Wh what? <sighs> she beat you by two points, Shirogane. Oh, well. Grr. Saki is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. I don't like that last sentence because there have been too many suspicious things and I feel like I'm going to be murdered. <laughs> It's a little cold out, but it's calm, and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are lots of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. And, oh, oh, what is it? Oh, omadori? I'm trying to make one. <laughs> I know it's not the same thing. But they're really cool looking. Gray! Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryuta? Exactly what it looks like! I'm here working today and tomorrow. Oh! It looks good on you! You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like the one for... Ooh, fulfillment in school, fulfillment in art, or fulfillment in conquest. I really wish there was one for protection, because I feel like I need it. <laughs> I guess. I did say I wanted to go into art. So maybe art? But, like, school is good, too. Or maybe my conquest is uh, to stay alive. <laughs> I wish to, uh, to conquer death and those who wish to harm me. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll go with art. I'll go with art. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do art. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well. I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Gray. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryuta. I would love to go to a shrine. Hmm? Mr. Nanaki! Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Gray. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yeah, unfortunately I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will! Hmm, what should I take? This one. Java Blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Grayer. Thank you, sir. Please don't murder me. <laughs> That's all I ask. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. 
I hibernated. What a shocker. Sleeps. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh! Uh, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special about this semester. Nothing to worry about. <gasps> Third term! It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh! Tomorrow's... What? Leg... Legumentines. Like... Legum? Like, like, like a legume, like a thing you eat legumentines? Okay. I think I'll buy some beans! Today, legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. What? <laughs> Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans. Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Oh gosh. I don't know who I am going for. So I don't know what to... I guess... I guess of the options, like my childhood friend is the one I'm closest to, so it's- I- I don't feel like I'm crushing on that bird, but like, I would want to give my friend a thing. Like- like a friend- a friend valentine. Which item is that, though? So racing, I'm sure, is San. Bitter black beans is probably- s the prissy one council's person. Would be calm corn? Ooh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'll go with calm corn. That might be my friend. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdy. For you to wait. Huh? Um, do you have a minute? Yay! I think I chose right. Sure, what's up? Here, calm corn. For legumentines. Oh, thanks, Gray. Are you sure? I love these. They're really good. It said that they were easy on bird stomachs, so I thought you might. I know sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you, Ruta. Thank you. That makes me really happy. You like udon, right? Let me take you out sometime. Okay. He seems happy. Yay! Which brings us to our main topic. The observational reports on the human representative at St. Pig Pigeonations. I'm never going to get that name right. Oh my gosh. As you can see, while she was meant to act as a goodwill ambassador, she fails to display sufficient intimacy with the birds. What? What? Childhood friend Abby. <laughs> we of the Hawk Party cannot overlook this situation. These reports only confirm what we already knew of human nature. We will execute the termination sequence. Adjourned. Coffee, anyone? <gasps> Are you gonna kill me? Because I didn't sleep with a bird? Mmm, <laughs> I love watching the stars at night. I can feel the excitement bubbling up from light years away. Yodelay hee hoo! Huh? I think I just heard some- <gasps> Who's there? Ninjas? You don't need to know. It'll all be over in two seconds. <gasps> oh no, I'm being murdered! It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Ah. Uh, Ugh, so sad. Interesting. Oh, 
oh, I wonder what other... I didn't realize there were so, like, those kinds of other endings. I might have to play more of this. Interesting. So I wonder if I would, like, accuse... Like, question the teacher with the photo. And, like... Like, just never side with the teacher? Side with, like, the creepy doctor? Oh, I'm so curious now! <laughs> uh, I'll have to try more of this at some point. Um... But not tonight, because it is 2.41 a.m. So I am going to go to bed instead. Yeah, it makes you play more for sure. Yeah! Ooh. I, just, I didn't expect, like, I didn't expect this much. I knew that it was a popular game, but, uh, and, like, I knew vaguely what it was. But yeah, this was, like, much more than I expected. Uh... Oh god, I'm definitely gonna have to try this again at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Are any of my... Other, uh... I think some of my... Twitch cohorts. Oh, Sorobi! Sorobi is here. I'm gonna go ahead and raid him. Um, because... That's just, like, a nice thing to do. Um, so yeah, let me, oh, wait, this thing froze. You do not freeze. Please, oh, or maybe I can do it from here. Um, uh, but thank you so much for everyone who watched. Thank you so much, Pops. Making so many choices. Uh, let us raid Sorobi, and I hope you guys all have wonderful nights and sleep at some point and stay warm. Is this gonna work from here? I don't know if it's gonna work from here. You too, Grayer. I love that. Bye! Uh, raid now. Yeah! <laughs>